Okay. What's up, everyone? OJ here. I'm going to turn on the music just a bit. What's up, everyone? How's everybody doing today? Welcome to the stream. I know a lot of you guys are throwing around stuff in terms of these allegations, you know, and some of this stuff that's been going on. So we're not even really going to waste too much time. Uh, mods, uh, just make note of what I'm saying. If somebody comes and says, what happens with Pro Jared? Go ahead and give them a basic summary of what I'm about to say, you know, and stuff like that. So mods, um, you guys know. Guys, please try. Please try, guys, to um, refrain from using type of the type of language that uh, some of you guys have already been using like in terms of stuff like just just try to refrain from doing that uh what we're trying to do here is this listen pro jared is a very popular let me explain who pro jared is first for those who don't know so shout outs to everybody here we'll get into the normal pe live don't worry we'll get into shout outs i'll say hi to everybody here but i wanted to get into this because obviously this is a pretty big deal right this conference controversy with pro jared um so let's go ahead and let's get into who pro jared is first i'll get into my own um i guess history with pro jared uh, i don't have anything i don't know him personally but um he's someone that literally gave me ideas to think oh what am i going to do for player essence he's someone that i've been watching on the internet for over a decade hard news pe news switch news the reason why i started the channel in the first place was doing reviews and doing um and doing like news and pro jared his hard news segment on screw attack was like the first of its kind back in the day you know 2008 2009 2010 whatever the case was um or even a little bit before that so um to hear this controversy and to see somebody that i've been watching for this many years be embroiled in this it's it's saddening it, it makes me upset um you know and at the same time like i, I felt compelled to like i gotta say something I don't know. Like I said, I've I've watched Jared's videos. I've promoted them on my old website back on Player Essence. I'm pretty sure I've put his videos down uh, before. Um, so I don't know. I just felt compelled to say something about this. We've had other YouTuber controversies before, and usually I don't touch too many of them. Um, but this one I felt compelled just because, like I said, I've been watching Pro Jared for years. I'm subscribed to him on Twitch um, as well, um, and I don't know if I'm going to be renewing my subscription um after the recent stuff here but i mean this is just it's very saddening that you know you don't really know these people right you can talk about whoever but you don't really know these people um ethan draws with a two dollar donation um yeah so so yeah thank you so much ethan i appreciate the two dollar donation it says uh pro jared is over party hope you're having a good day i am having a good day well i mean this pro jared stuff hit me last night um it started unfolding and it just got worse and worse and worse so pro jared is a popular well he had a million subscribers he doesn't have a million subscribers anymore but he had over 1 million subscribers on his main channel and then he had i think well over 300,000 subscribers on his pro jared plays channel he's also on twitch he gets hundreds of viewers each time that he streams on twitch and i'm pretty sure he has a good amount of twitch uh subscribers as well um, so yeah, he's a popular figure within the entertainment um, YouTuber. He's made videos with Game Grumps. He's made videos with um, Normal Boots. He's made videos with Peanut Butter Gamer. He's made videos with a lot of other popular, you know, YouTubers out there. Um, so a lot of people know who he is. Um, that's who Pro Jared is. But he he originated from Screw Attack. Uh, with uh, you know, you guys remember Screw Attack, right? Now and it's called it's kind of like called Spiritual Successor. It's called Game Attack with uh, Craig and um, all that. And anyway, he was pretty much the originator, really him of daily gaming news shows. Without Screw Attack and without Pro Jared, I doubt you'd see Spawn Wave and you'd see Player Essence PE News and you'd see Prime News or you'd see all these guys doing da even like the Daily Fix, IGN's Daily Fix, and all these daily news shows. I highly doubt you would have seen that without Pro Jared and without Screw Attack because he's the first person that I can think of that actually did that. So it's significant in that way. A lot of people don't remember that, but yeah, he pretty him and Screw Attack pretty much originated daily news shows. Even like the Hey J News is very similar to what Pro Jared did. You know, you have the coat and then like you kind of have some camera angles, you throw in a little witty joke here and there. So many, many, many people learn from Pro Jared in order to base news channels or anything like that. Like, cause he, they made it popular. They made it super popular. Before it was just like, oh, I'm gonna play this game. Or it was like, oh, well, here's this bit of news, you know, or it was like a kind of like some type of weird old podcast format. It wasn't like how, like a news show, you know? Um, where you go from topic to topic it wasn't like that and pro jared originated that along with screw attack you know um so that's the reason why this is significant right um 
we everybody kind of owes them anybody who does news at this point that's where it got popular was from Sc pro jared and screw attack um so um it's very unfortunate you know since he's moved on from screw attack obviously he started doing his own thing he's been a very successful right um and he was man and so let's get into the actual controversy here guys okay so pro jared was married to a fellow i mean i would say fairly popular not a youtuber but she was uh, or she is um, um a cos cosplay um cosplay she does like nintendo cosplay she's very talented her name's heidi um and she's very talented and he was married to her okay and the problem now though is that pro jared cheated on his wife and you know because that's his wife cheated on his wife with another popular content creator i think her name is commander holly commander holly who was married to ross who was on who used to be on the game grumps so another popular content creator so we have a a love quadfecta or whatever the, the case is here and um now ross and commander holly are divorced but while all of this was going on um pro jared was cheating on his wife heidi with commander holly okay and not only was he cheating on her with commander holly um pro jared was also using tumblr or using like snapchat to send explicit uh videos or sorry pictures of himself to allegedly minors and also female fans young female fans female fans in general um sending pictures and yes sending like you know more than just the body just sending more you guys know what i'm saying as in like you can go out there and see it i'm not gonna say because i don't want to get demonetized but like yeah actually sending you know what down there you know what i'm saying um so there are quite a number of pictures out there now the reason why i say allegedly is because the thing about it is that i have not been able to verify anybody can say what age they, they want to say um i don't know some of these people um from what i've been able to see there's a lot of people that are saying that they were like 17 turning 18 you know um depending on what state you live in you know what i'm saying the definition of consent and minor is different okay so like in certain states here in the u.s like if you're in alabama it's like 16 years old whereas if you're somewhere else it might be 18 whereas if you're somewhere else it might be 17 so that's the reason why I'm, people are saying minors this minors that or you know and which yes i get that but it's different in different states you know what i'm saying the age is different so that's the reason why i'm saying okay well yeah what we've seen all i've been able to see is there's this one girl that said she was 18 okay and everyone says that yeah she's 18 now there's other people that are saying that yes there's girls that are 16 or 17 or anything but i don't know all the local laws of consent and things like that so that's the reason why i'm saying okay well you know this is bad but it is different in different places so there you go not trying to defend that just letting you guys know but it's still alleged like it's still i guess he hasn't been found of any crime yet but the evidence is definitely out there and it does not look good um it definitely does not look good um so yeah um it's allegedly for right now it's alleged because i can't independently verify how old the girls are you know i can't verify how old they are and i can't and i mean if they're sending pictures and if it's an age of consent then it's an age of consent you know if it's 16 and that's the legal age and wherever they were from because i don't know where these girls are from i don't know where they're from so if it's like alabama or whatever or certain stuff certain places and she's 16 and she's sending them pictures back that's age of consent whatever you know what i'm saying like she sent it she sent it to him he sent it back blah 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 whatever you know what i'm saying but i don't i don't know i can't verify everything and where these girls live you know and i'm not trying to do that i'm just trying to give you guys the information that's out there you know and try to, try to put it as you know in the middle as i well not in the middle obviously there's a problem here obviously i disagree with his methods even if they're 18 years old you know jared is 33 i think 30 32 33 um so uh, Th that's the biggest problem that we're having here i think that that's not appropriate behavior regardless of the age regardless you're never going to see me start up tumblers and snapchats to send pictures of myself to 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 you guys to 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 young women on the internet that's just not gonna happen it's a bad idea it's not a good idea you know what i'm saying it's it, and it's it i think that it's morally wrong however I don't know if there's anything right now that we can say in terms of like um legally 
but morally it's incorrect as a YouTuber, as a popular YouTuber, to be doing stuff like that. And on top of that, like uh, Sad Sushi says here, he's married. This is a, th he's married. But on top of being married, the thing that's the worst part, the pictures aren't the worst part. In my opinion, the pictures aren't the worst part. The worst part is that he cheated on his wife, you know. And then on top of that, he he mentally abused his wife in terms of things tried to blame it on her based on what Heidi's saying and based on what pro Jared is saying pro Jared isn't saying anything or isn't giving any real details he put out this blanket horrible statement you know that really just kind of shows that yeah what Heidi's saying is correct um so Heidi's been Heidi's been talking his ex wife well his soon to be ex-wife has been talking she's moved out of the house and she's saying that mentally and um emotionally she's been abused by jared she's all jared was always trying to blame her for the problems in the relationship uh whenever she found out about some of these things jared would say oh well you know um like i'm going to make things better or whatever the case is so she felt that she tried as hard as possible to save their marriage um but that's i think that's the biggest thing because when you and the thing is some people might be asking well oj why is it your concern what do you matter or what does it matter to you why are you talking about this and um the thing about this guys is this when you spend your money on somebody when you invest time and money i mean nobody wants to invest their money into a dirt bag right or into somebody who who commits adultery into somebody that is not a genuine person if somebody's a dirtbag i want to know before i invest my money into them that they're a dirtbag before i give them ad revenue through videos that they're a dirtbag i don't want to support people who do things that go against what i believe just like not trying to compare him to a racist or anything like that but just like if you find out that somebody's racist you probably don't want to support them or you might want to support them if you believe in the same things right so it's the same thing here i don't want to support somebody who does adultery I don't want to support somebody who is mentally abusive to those that they are supposed to love. To like, I don't believe in that type of stuff. So that's the reason why I'm kind of talking about it because this is somebody like I said. I've been, I've donated, I've subbed to him on Twitch, I've watched videos, and now that I feel that now that all this has come out, I feel that all of the the like the persona that he put out was fake. When Doctor Disrespect cheated on his wife. Pro Jared was on Twitch sit, making jokes and saying, Dr. Disrespect your wife. And he had quite he had quite a bit to say. Yet now we find out that he's a hypocrite because he's also cheating on his wife as well. When he was making fun of Dr. Disrespect or kind of calling out Dr. Disrespect for cheating on his wife. Now he's doing the same thing. Not only is that hypocritical, but also I don't want to invest my money into somebody like that. I feel somewhat like ashamed that, okay, well, this is the type of person that I'm supporting when he's doing this to people. So that's the reason why, in my opinion, at least, it's okay for me to talk about it, right? Um, usually I don't talk about controversies that don't affect me. If I don't watch somebody or if I don't invest money into somebody, then I usually I'm just like, okay, whatever. But if it's somebody that I've worked with or somebody that I've invested into, even if it's just like a Twitch Prime sub or something, that's still something. And I feel the need that if I want to say something, I'll say something. But once again, PE News was because of hard news, you know? So, and one of the big reasons why I even started this channel was Pro Jared and what he did. So it's just crazy. It's just crazy. So um, that's my thoughts on it, guys. I think that's the, the, the actual full thing here. Um, I feel that um, Pro Jared, he's losing subscribers at a rapid pace. This is not good. He might have Thanosed his own career, I'll be honest. Um, can he come back from this? Absolutely. You know why Pro Jared can come back from this? Because Pro Jared is a very talented content creator. So can he come back from this? Yes, but he needs to do some, he needs to do these things. So uh, Pro Jared's probably not going to watch this, but Pro Jared, if you're watching, this is what you need to do, my boy. One, you need to apologize ASAP to Heidi. ASAP, you need to apologize to her. Two, you need to come out and make a video apologizing as well. Three, you need to seek some help when it comes to it and make that public as well, okay? You do all of those things and then continue creating content like you create content. You be humble about it and apologize and stop running from the truth because that's what he's doing is running from the truth and he can come back from this, but he's got to do those things. If he doesn't do these things, he's committing career suicide right now and he needs to apologize because basically at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I don't think he's going to be found legally liable for, like, the, the, the pics that he sent out. 
um, the picks that he sent out to whatever the, 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 whatever the, the girls are. I don't think anybody's going to really, nobody's going to spend the money when it comes to like lawyer fees to take him to court or anything like that. Or, I mean, they have the, op a lot of these, these, these girls are, like I said, I'm not sure what the, 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 the laws are or where they are or anything like that. Cause I don't know, but I don't think any of them are going to, you know, do that. He needs though. And he has not broken any terms of service when it comes to Twitch or when it comes to YouTube. He's broken no terms of service at this point from what I understand. Now, I think that there could be something if one of those girls, if, they're, if their age of consent was not that and he's sending them first pictures and all that and they go to YouTube, there can be some trouble financially for his channel outside of everybody unsubscribing. There can be some stuff financially for that. But I don't know about legally. I think, I think legally everything's going to be um, maybe okay for him. Um, so that's the thing that he needs to do. He needs to apologize ASAP. I mean, and it needs to be a sincere apology. You messed up, dude. Like plain and simple, you messed up. I mean, and look, I'm not even going to compare it to myself, although this isn't very comparable, but I'm going to compare it. Remember after the whole, um, remember after, after the whole Nintendo E3 or not, sorry, Nintendo Switch stuff. How many times did I apologize? Oh, I know a lot of you guys probably weren't here around, but how many times did I, uh, uh um, apologize? For this you know what i'm saying for for what had happened and you guys are like all right cool you guys are like, all right he apologized welcome back you know what i'm saying so he, he 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 needs to he needs to apologize um he needs to apologize so so yeah um yeah he did block his uh i know it's way different i know it's way different but i'm telling you guys this like it's a whole lot different but at the same time, a lot of people were crazy about this. You know how people get about video games, right? Like angry mob mentality. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He can come back from this, but he needs to apologize. He, he, needs, he, he, needs, to, he needs to apologize. And he needs to, um, he needs to let Heidi know that he's going to get help. You know? So, um, all right, guys. Um, I'm going to take questions. Uh, thank you, Ethan Draws, for the... Uh, really? For the two dollar donation, I'm gonna put you in up. You are the top stream ninja, and also shout outs to Nintax with the Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. The soul of power burns within you. Uh, thank you to everybody who's watching. I do appreciate all of you guys being here. Um, if you guys have questions on this, or if you guys have thoughts, I'll be more than happy to take questions. Tag me at Player Essence or hashtag Player Essence, and I'll be more than happy to um, answer answer questions for you guys, um, as long as they're not disrespectful, um, and I'll answer them. Let me let me go ahead and get Ethan's name up here. Um, on the stream top stream board here all right so okay all right so let's see here um make sure you tag me at player essence guys tag my name so i can see there's 300 something people in here if you don't tag me i'm not going to see your comment um quick question was any of this stuff proven i don't believe um in passing any kind of judgment until i have all the facts yes this stuff was proven um yes uh yes this stuff was proven there were women with actual pictures where they showed the picture that you couldn't have photoshopped um where they showed the picture of stuff that was sent to him or that that he that pro jared sent to these girls um there and on top of that heidi does say that she has evidence explicit pictures and stuff where she actually described how commander holly who is the the woman who pro jared cheated on his wife with how she looked in those explicit pictures and text messages that were sent to jared so she says that she has proof however posting those pictures could be a pro those explicit pictures could be a problem and can get her legally in trouble so she can't post them um, she cannot post them, but she did, expl she did say, she said, she said that you look so uncomfortable and insecure in the pictures that you sent to my husband, the new, so she, uh, you wouldn't describe it that way unless you had proof, unless you had proof, there's no way you'd say that. So she has proof of pictures that, uh, that, that girl, Commander Holly sent to pro Jared, you know, her, her ex-husband or soon to be ex-husband. So yes, there is proof of that. Um, there is also proof that I can verify of one girl, um, well, not verify, but the proof of the girl, what she said, that she was 18 years old and that the picture was sent, um, and the picture was sent to her, um, of pro Jared's, you know what, and she scribbled, she like edited, she like did a really horrible job of like editing out the, the picture, but yes, it was, it, it's, it's there, it's out there on the internet guys, it's out there. 
there's no way that you could have photoshopped them it's it's impossible to photoshop that many images from these girls holding it up on their cell phone it's the quality sucks you can tell that there wasn't any clipping or edging around it was a picture that was sent to their phone if somebody photoshopped all of these pictures then man you they've got these women are the best photoshop artists in ever and they should be doing graphic design for a living because that would be very tough photoshop is easy to see you guys ever seen like kim kardashian or whatever or you know a chloe when they photoshop something or when they photoshop like the muscles on guys where they have like all these extra stuff on like the men's health magazine you can clearly tell that they're photoshop there's no way these were photoshopped they were too pale and pasty and normal looking for them to be photoshopped in any type of way uh, i didn't see it i'm an editor myself i didn't see it um t pianist with a three dollar donation now becoming the top stream ninja and says can we get a pro jared roast though how um how are you out here getting uh getting a bad chick five star cosplay uh or yeah cosplay or cosplay cosplay waifu i like heidi um while he has the audacity to look like a literal earthworm i'm enjoying this drama <laughs> like, like fine wine yeah um uh you know I, I well you know heidi's not my type but for people yeah she's not ugly i'll tell you that right now i'll tell you that right now she's not ugly i think she's um like i said she's not my type um i'm more of the twin tail style but i mean she's definitely not ugly she's definitely not ugly by any means and yeah she looks great in in, in the cosplay so absolutely uh, the, the fact that he would cheat on her with i mean you know um uh with Commander Holly, I'm not trying to be mean, but I mean, like, I I would personally believe that Commander Holly maybe doesn't look quite as good as as Heidi, his wife. Um, but there was probably other things going on. I'm not really sure. I'm not in that relationship, man. So I mean, I don't know. But um, but yeah. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> uh, let's go ahead and get your name up here. Thank you so much, T Pianist uh for the uh three dollar donation man i appreciate that 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 does make you the top stream ninja and thank you for using streamlabs as well thank you for using streamlabs i appreciate that it really does help out um let's see here uh vc says pro jared is a perfect example of throwing away a diamond for a bunch of rocks and underage of pebbles well, yeah yeah unfortunately uh, let's see oh are you taking are you taking random questions we're taking questions on this whole pro jared stuff so charity if, if you have questions on this whole pro jared stuff i'll be more than happy to answer there's a lot of people in here so let me catch up on questions guys um an apology would be great for his ex-wife but to be honest he isn't sorry he would just be sorry that he got caught well he'd have to prove that he's sorry by like going to therapy and all that stuff like that you know um part of says i can't stand when people cheat on their spouses um on their spouse it is horrible and no spouse should have to deal with that yet yeah, it's pretty bad Quick question was any of this stuff proof okay yeah, i already read that um yo what's up tyler the creator how you doing today my boy uh potential carrot okay i already read that one and the, that perturbed son what's up man it's been a while since i've seen you here dude an apology is just is not gonna do it there's underage allegations here and, it, and that's a career ended unless he can prove them false well the thing about it though is that unless those 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 like like i said we need to know like the the states from these that these women are from or from these girls are from because if the age of consent is different from what i understand with the law the age of consent is very different that's why like on like you guys ever watch like how to catch a predator notice how it's never 16 year old girl or like you know or even 15 year old girl or 17 year old girl notice how it's always 13 year old girl or 12 year old boy or 12 year old girl because the age and all that gets really dicey when you talk about pictures and explicit messages that type of stuff is difficult to deal with when it comes to the law based on the states and all of that and where somebody's coming from so that's the reason why whenever they do how to catch a predator they always focus on making sure that it's the clear like you know like under the, the like the, the the age you know we're a minor 100 percent you know, otherwise you might do, you might run into some issues when you're talking about, it. because if the girl's like 16 turning 17, you know, like depending on where it is, it can be, it can be a little bit messy when it comes to the law. Right. So that's all I'm trying to say. Like you're talking about, okay, legal, okay, these gay, these girls are underage, but we don't know where they live. Where are they from? Like, you know what I'm saying? So th that's what I'm trying to say here. Like, I, I, I mean, from what I understand, it's different in different States. Like I think here in California, I think it's 17 or 18, one of those two. So, like I said, that's why on How to Catch a Predator, they never try to pose as a 15-year-old or 16-year-old girl. They always say 12, 13, or below 11, 12, 13, you know? Um, so, let's see here. Uh, all right. So, we got some more donations coming through. Shout-outs to Harrison uh, Bachelor with the 79 uh, cents donation. Thank you so much. Also, shout-outs to David Balfour, Pressure Drop, with the $5 donation. Um, it says, so this... So 
So does this kind of thing happen uh, more often than we hear about? I mean, the way some YouTubers, uh, some YouTubers prime their audience saying how much they love them. I see the vulnerability people are falling for it. Yeah, I think it does happen more often than what people actually um than what people actually like report or what's out there it probably i mean we had a youtuber what's his name i forgot what his name is but we had a youtuber a popular youtuber with over 500,000 subscribers go to prison get sent to prison for telling underage girls to send them pictures and messages and all that stuff like that so we got a guy that actually got prosecuted and is going to prison for that so yeah there's probably more that don't that, that don't get caught or that are out there absolutely um absolutely david um so david uh thank you so much for the donation man i appreciate that and i was glad i was able to answer you know your question um and guys i'm sorry if i'm uh, i mean i just got to catch up guys this is there's uh 330 people in here so I, I promise i'll try to get to everybody's thoughts on this but you guys know i mean it'd be tough i'm just one person um but i'll do my best guys i swear i'll do my best while i try to update everything and uh, make sure everything runs smoothly on the stream uh so david let's go ahead and get your name up here thank you man you are the top stream ninja for for the uh, stream so far um, and remember, guys, we do have more than just pro this Pro Jared stuff. We are going to be talking about PE Live, so we do have some gaming topics. And we also have State of Play in about one hour. So we will be doing a live reaction to State of Play. So that should be interesting, right? Um, all right. So, uh, so you guys, if you got time, stick with us here throughout the whole thing. We're going to be rolling all the way past uh, 3 o'clock uh, my time. And then we're going to take a little break, and then we'll be back with the nightcap for PE Live. So it should be a lot of fun, right? Um, all right. So let's see here. Uh, Dreaded Uchiha. 305 donated four dollars through super chat and says just wanted to say uh what's up to my favorite youtuber thank you so much man i appreciate that whenever somebody says i'm their favorite youtuber um i feel great so thank you there's a frame rate drop for some reason uh, i just saw a fat frame rate drop for no reason for no reason more like it um so thank you though uh let me see if i can close out some of these tabs maybe that's what's causing maybe a frame i don't know why a tab would cause a frame rate drop but i mean i just saw is there anything playing no no that's not playing either Stupid frame rate drops. Screw you guys. Screw or not you guys, but screw the frame rate drops. Screw frame rate drop, boys. Um, all right. Uh, we got a brand new member as well. Serenity Lotus, thank you so much. Welcome back to Elite Ninja Village. I know you've been a member before. So uh enjoy those emotes and of course access to our exclusive Discord where you can play games against me as um in Super Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, and more. Uh so yeah, good stuff. Um, all right, so let me continue on here. Oh my gosh, I'm so behind, guys. I am so behind. Um Let's see here. Michael Bryan says, you don't know what the relationship between uh, the couple was like. Um, it could have collapsed into a mess. Uh, and she is definitely lashing out in her Twitter messages. Um, I don't know what it's like behind the scenes. But from what from what pro Jared has said, and from what Heidi has said, Heidi is explaining her point. Pro Jared is not. I'm gonna I'm going I'm going to believe if this is court of law, which it's not, but public court of opinion. I am going to believe the person that is willing to say that they have proof and willing to talk about it compared to the person that puts out a blanket statement saying, we have, we've tried to work through this and we went to therapy and it just didn't work out. Pro Jared's not talking. Heidi's talking. You're saying that she's lashing out, but Pro Jared's not responding. So if Pro Jared's responding and saying things back and defending himself, then we have a different story here. But what Heidi is saying and the evidence that is coming out is backing up what Heidi is saying. That's all I'm trying to say here. I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. And that's the reason why I'm not trying to sit there and cancel this man like that. Like, I'm not trying to Thanos this man or anything like that. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm simply talking to somebody who literally in, helped inspire Player Essence and to where I draw a lot of inspiration from and that I have financially supported on many different occasions here, okay? And it's public, it's, it's public. At this point, it's public knowledge. And you guys are going to come in here talking about it anyway. If I don't talk about Pro Jared, you know good and well there's going to be hundreds of people in here saying, hey, OJ, you hear about Pro Jared? What do you think about Pro Jared? Pro Jared this, Pro Jared that. You, you, you aren't going to be able to avoid it. Um... Yo, shout outs to Kitsune 84 with the Toby, almost Toby Blester. Let's go. Thank you so much. Uh, Kitsune 84 and also Halifax with the donation as well. We'll get to you. Halifax, thank you for the $10 Patreon pledge as well, my man. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support on the channel. Um, Kitsune 84 with the $10 and says, just showing my support. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. When do you want nudes of me? No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. That's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. I'm just trying. I'm. I, I don't know what I'm doing at this point. Um. Thank you for the ten dollar donation, though. I do appreciate that. And also, Halifax donated two dollars through Super Chat and says, "Um, uh, want to show love. Thank you for all the hard work." So yes, thank you, man. I I appreciate that. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate that. Thank you. Um. 
Let's see here. So let's continue on here. Uh, he's not coming back from this dude unless he can absolutely... Okay, hold up. Yeah, I already read that. How's my afternoon? My afternoon's going okay. Uh, my afternoon's going okay. Let me see if I can catch up here just a little bit, guys. Um, let's see if I can catch up. Um, all right. So do you guys have more questions? Uh, if you guys have more questions, uh, please, please ask me. Did I miss? I missed probably a lot of people. And thank you, Serenity Lotus. Thank you for the uh, membership. We're We're very close, guys. 165 we're almost at our goal it'd be great if we can hit our goal so shout outs 175 i am going to change that at 175 we are going to get that hardcore playthrough um of uh what's it called of fire emblem three houses so hardcore playthrough of fire emblem three houses on the channel live so um and also let's plays so uh we'll do we'll do that um let's see here uh if, if i missed your question please retype it and i'll try to get to it please retype it and i'll try to get to it um epic steve says to be fair even pro jared was right it'd be dumb for him to speak out because no one uh, would believe him trying to defend him uh but something but uh not trying to defend him but something to know well um unfortunately that's not how it works though you know unfortunately you have somebody heidi who seems like a very genuine person right she seems very genuine you don't see pictures of her floating around the internet showing off what she's got to minors or to potential minors or whatever the case is so Heidi is coming off as very genuine pro Jared is coming off as very douchey you know so who are people gonna believe the pictures of all these girls coming out and saying look at these pictures look at these pictures look at these pictures he's sending me compared to the girl who sit there dresses up as Zelda and who's literally speaking from the heart yes she's probably lashing out just a bit but she's hurt she's hurt this is her husband this was her husband and I have no reason to not believe what she's saying. She seems like a genuine person at this point. It seems like there are douchebags, guys. That's the thing that you guys have to understand. There are people that are literally douchebags. Yes, there are people with millions of subscribers that do douchey things that probably cheat on their wife or whatever the case is. That's that's the case here, okay? That's what's going on here. Um, it's There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Like... This is a douchey move on his part. If he didn't want to be with her anymore, if, you know, and she explained, she said that she saw, like, she she was, oh, I guess she she thought it, she was okay with, like, the Tumblr and some of the pics because she thought that it was just, like, harmless fun at first, but, like, I guess she felt intimidated to feel that way. But when you're married, man, you're going to do anything to try to save the marriage if you're truly wanting to save the marriage. Um, I don't think he was truly wanting to save the marriage. And like I said, that's his thing. That's his prerogative. I get that. But at the same time, you're public figures. They're both, listen, guys, listen. Let's just say for some reason I'm with, I don't know, just pick Etika's ex, Etika's ex-girlfriend, whatever. You know, if we were together and then all of a sudden something happens, you guys are going to hear about it. Just like you heard about Etika and her, right? two public figures together and something happens you're gonna hear about it plain and simple because you have people investing into you a person nobody wants to invest into a douchebag which i talked about this before nobody wants to invest into a douchebag so this stuff's gotta come out because there's gotta be a who was right who was wrong in this situation there's gotta be okay and financially i support a hundred percent what Heidi's doing because financially there's going to be a mess here with the divorce and with what's going on here she's had to move out she's got to make money when you're married you're relying on somebody for income I'm thinking pro Jared's probably the bigger money maker so she's got to move out I mean thankfully they don't have any kids so it doesn't get super messy but financially she's got to do some stuff too so she's got to look at it from her own career's perspective hey I'm not going to look like the bad guy here and I'm not going to make him make me to be out the bad guy either. So if I was her, I'd be doing the same thing I'm doing right now. Because look, obviously he doesn't want her anymore. You got to look out for yourself. And you can't sit here and have the wrath of pro Jared's fans coming down on you for breaking up the marriage. Because the way that that statement went, it made it seem as if it was like almost kind of her fault. You know, like, so nah, man, like I, I, I don't, I don't falter. I don't falter for that. Um... Let's see here. Uh, one in a million donated 99 cents with no message. Thank you so much, one in a million. I appreciate that. Um, will you do a, a Fire Emblem Hardcore playthrough um, for 175? Um, yes, yes, I will. For 175, I was going to do it for 200, but uh, we can do it for like 175 and we can get a new emote too. So I think that'd be cool because we can get a new Fire Emblem emote and then we can also do it at 175. So if you guys want to member up, uh, do that and you do get access to our Discord and playing against me like Super Smash Brothers and all that stuff. 
Um, so let's see here. Uh, let's let's continue on here. Uh, you notice that Pro Jared hasn't uploaded to his main channel in months. Yeah, but that I mean, yeah, but I mean, he was more doing his Pro Jared Plays channel anyway because he could make uh, more money off of that Pro Jared Plays channel just by doing content that, that doesn't take as long. Whereas his Pro Jared channel, it takes way too long to edit videos. Um, let's see. Soul Talks and Gaming says I have a four-year-old daughter, so I will blacklist this dude um, if the girls were underage. Uh, that being said. Um, whether it's scummy or not, if they were all of age, only is loss, uh, so big, um, so no big, in my opinion, okay? Um, random questions now, OJ, uh, we're still about, J it's, it's, it's pro Jared. Uh, I'll take, go ahead, Charity, if you have a question, that's fine, I'll answer it. Um, it's going to be interesting, um, when they do the 50-50 split, it is going to be interesting. Um, let's see here, uh, I don't know if I'll talk about that, though. Uh, Black Feather says, do you think we'll get Bayonetta 3 at E3? I think it's very possible, absolutely um let's see here he's already down on, uh, over 50k subs yeah he's down a lot um uh, perturbed sun says good point um age of consent we shall see i've been de um, deployed which is why I, um it's been a while since but i'm back from tour so i'll be around more my friend your content is always solid thank you so much perturbed sun thank you and first of all shout outs and um thank you for everything that you do for the country i appreciate that my man i really really do so thank you um definitely a, mo a lot braver than me i'll tell you that um, Mandy Lee plays donated a dollar ninety nine through super chat and says, "I wish Heidi the best." Me too. I felt really, I feel really bad for her because she's she's she seems like a very very intelligent, um, you know, beautiful young lady. And the fact that this is happening it just sucks. I mean, it sucks. I mean, but you know, it is what it is. It is. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure she'll be able to move on. She's strong. She's beautiful. She's gonna find somebody you know, that's going to treat her right, you know, she's going to find something that's going to treat her right, and she'll be okay, and she probably want. I mean, I don't know if she wants to have kids, but I mean, I know Pro Jared didn't want to have kids, so maybe she finds somebody that actually wants to have a family, I don't know if she does, though, I don't know if she wants to have a family and all that, but maybe she does, maybe she does at some point, um, so maybe she'll actually find somebody that wants to have a family and will treat her good, if she does want to have a family, that is, um, let's see here, uh, do you, oh, hold up, I already read that, uh, Blazer Link, what's up, Blazer Link, it says, if this, uh, if the courts are involved, He's going to have to be quiet about it, not possibly to incriminate himself until going to court if the legal system is involved. Yeah, but in terms of like the, that's the underage picture. So he doesn't have to talk about that. Now, when it comes to the cheating and what happened and all of that, now that has nothing to do with legal stuff when it comes to like underage or anything. He's not talking about that either. So, so yeah, man, I mean, uh, Commander Holly is 32. Uh, Commander Holly is 32. Heidi is 30. Well, yeah, they're all around the same age. Pro Jared's like 33. Command, they're all around, in, you know, in the early. I'm, I'm, I'm the same age as all of them. I'm 32. So, or actually, no, I'm, I'm 45. Sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, Wanted a million donated another an, another dollar. Thank you. I think those are the, like the free super chats. So, thank you, man. Appreciate that. Um, Matthew uh, Rieger says Destin was on hard news before Pro Jared. You're right. Destin was on hard news before Pro Jared. You're right about that. My mistake. Um, I liked them more anyways. I can tell you've taken influence from them. I genuinely believe you'll steer clear of similar controversy. Much love. Yeah, you know, here's the thing, guys. You know why I'm going to steer clear from general controversy? Because I'm freaking not stupid um, like that in terms of it. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not stupid like that. So I don't think I'm going to be in any type of situation like that. So, yeah, don't don't count me in that. Uh, don't worry, man. I got my head screwed on right. My mom raised me in a certain way. I will do my damnedest to not find that type of controversy. The only type of controversy that you'll find me in are the freaking stupid crumb side YouTubers mad because their channels are still crumb side and I got out of the crumb side of YouTube. So that's the only thing that you'll find me when it comes to controversy for the most part. Um, let's see here. Um, um, and also, I think she's went up like 30,000 30, subscribers or 30,000 Twitch followers already. She should start a YouTube channel. Um, Mr. BD says, oh, we do. Okay, I already read that. Um, Let's see here. Just giving you my free super chats, bro. I hope all is well. Thank you, man. I appreciate the free super chats, dude. I really do. Um, let's see. You can tell his Reddit mods were pissed at him by making his subreddit into a Scott the Waz subreddit. Bruh. <laughs> Adrian Yep says, do you think this is the reason for Rubber rubber Ross and a Holly divorce as Game Grumps took down the ProJet videos a month ago? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. This is one of the reasons why. Um, you are late. How's it going? Fantasy Thinker fan says, um, do you think she's... Uh, she should have exposed him publicly like in, like this instead of going to his friends and family and dealing with it offline. Do I think she, she should? Yeah, I think she, yes, yes. The reason why, she, the only reason why she came out and said anything was because of Pro Jared's statement. Pro Jared made a statement making it seem as if this wasn't his fault. And she's been cheated on by another popular content creator. 
Yeah, you damn right. She should come out and say it. if this is all public. Now, if this is now, if if these were not people that were known in the public eye, then nah, it doesn't need to be handled on Twitter. Nobody's gonna care. But like I said, you're investing money into people of high caliber. Some people do not care. But if you guys found out, if you found out, let's just say I have a wife, okay? I think I said that's another popular content creator. And if you guys found out that I'm a cheating douche shishigami douchebag, are you guys going to invest in me? Some of you guys might, but a lot of you guys are going to be like, peace, OJ. I don't want to invest in you. I don't want to give you ad revenue. You're a douchebag. You don't believe, I don't believe in your morals. So yeah, yeah, you're damn right. She's going to come out and say something. You're damn right. I do the same thing. This, like I said, this is what happens when you're in the public eye. Now, if you work at Costco, okay, or if you work at Walmart, then it doesn't matter, you know? But you know, this is public. You got people investing money into you. You're in the public eye, okay? You've got Twitch Prime subs. You've got members. You've got subscribers, okay? You've got to hold up to a certain amount of conduct, Plain and simple. If people don't like what you're doing, they have all in their right to sit there and judge publicly because they're investing into you as a person. A lot of you guys invest into me or give me money like this because you guys feel that I'm genuine, that I'm not a douchebag. But if I was a douchebag, I highly doubt that a lot of people would be investing or even watching me. Nobody wants to invest or talk or subscribe to a douchebag. Or a lot, of, well, a lot of people do, but a lot of people don't. Most people don't. Okay. So that's the reason why. Yeah, you're damn right. She's going to come out and say something. Yeah, she should have handled it publicly because these are, I mean, these are public figures, you know, and if nobody's a public figure, then no, handle it behind the closed doors, you know, but um, no, these are all public figures here, guys. Um, DN Megazan donated $2 through Super Chat. It says Ninja Gaiden arcade version is out on the eShop. Cool, man. Awesome. Uh, Nimai, Nimai, or Nima. I donated a dollar ninety nine through super chat says love your videos uh, boss hope this um, hope this man finds help yes absolutely and thank you so much I appreciate um, the donation I do appreciate the donation um, let's go ahead and let's get the top stream stats updated though guys I forgot to update it uh, we do have um, a new top stream boss a Kitsune is supposed to stop stream boss um top stream ninja Kitsune is eighty four is that so sorry about that dude uh, let me go ahead and get your name up here. Sorry for taking so long. I forgot to put it up with the $10 donation. So thank you, man. I appreciate that. Um, so let's see here. Just came um, home. So what happened? He cheated on his wife with someone uh, called Holly. That's what I know. Yeah, pretty much that. And then he also sent pictures um, of himself to potentially underage girls, potentially not underage, but he sent pictures and just basically being a douchebag overall. Um, Pro Jared statement looks like he um, like it was made by the same person that makes statements for EA and Activision. Bruh. <laughs> oh my gosh blue phoenix okay i already read that uh rip pro jared and etika well i mean i think etika's gonna make a comeback at some point i mean but at the same time like all of this is just sad i mean this has been a tumultuous year this has been a tumultuous year for youtubers and stuff dude it's been it's been absolutely nuts man um how long does the state of play last 10 minutes for state of play 10 minutes from three from three o'clock to three ten p.m pt 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, 10 minutes. Uh, as I said, I'm not here. I'm not judging anyone. That's uh, that's what one-sided court systems are for. <laughs> oh, man. Um, all right. Any other questions, guys? Let's see. Only only, only cornballs care about people's personal life. Um, Deadass, him cheating, divorcing, lying to his wife is nobody's business but theirs unfortunately kev san like i said before i'm not sure when you got here or anything like that but just to put it just to put it to you unfortunately it is people's business you know why it is people's business because people are investing money into you um when people invest money into you as a public figure then it's their business to be honest to not to know that they're not invested into a dirt bag you don't want to support somebody who's a dirt bag right so if you're investing money into somebody and you didn't know that they cheat on their wife and they lie and they send pictures to that, and if you don't believe in that morally, it's the same thing as somebody saying, well, I don't want to invest into a racist or I don't want to invest into anybody that I don't believe in person in terms of morals. That's the reason why it is people's business, dude, because I don't want to invest into a douchebag. I'm pretty sure you don't want to invest into one. So if I knew that he's cheating on his wife and doing all these things, I wouldn't be Twitch priming. I wouldn't be donating. I wouldn't be doing stuff like that. So unfortunately, as a public figure where people literally the people your fans are invested into you and who they think you are which is a standout person who wears their wedding ring 
okay? He goes on stream. He's wearing his wedding ring. He talks about his wife. He's made contact with his wife, saying how much he loves his wife. So that was phony, right? So that's the problem. That's the biggest problem uh, with this. So, you know, not only that, but the worst part about all of this is that a few years ago, he made a video about like a dating sim where he literally said what actually happened, which I, you know, cheated with Commander Holly on this video game. And then it also featured his wife. And he went back and changed the name of that title of that video three years ago. Okay? So when you're sitting here and saying this is nobody's business, he's made videos literally saying certain things and changing the title of those things to not reflect what actually happened. But yet you're sitting here and saying it's nobody's business. Why is he changing titles? Why is he putting his wife with him on camera? Why is he wearing his wedding ring all the time? Why is he giving off this persona of this type of person, but he's not that type of person? Do you want to invest into somebody who's sending pictures to potentially 16 year olds? I don't think so. So when you sit here and say it's nobody's business but theirs, unfortunately that's not the case when people are investing into who they think you are. It's scummy and nobody wants to invest or watch somebody that does that. Just like if I find out that somebody's a racist, I'm not gonna support that channel. Is it their business if they're racist or not? You know what I'm saying? I mean, like to me, so to some people, being a racist is as bad as adultery. Some people might even think it's worse, you know? Because doing it, I mean, so you can't, you've got to understand these things with public figures, you know? Um, <clears throat> let's see here. King, uh, jo uh, is it King J Joan? Joan Lulz donated five dollars to Super Chat and says, uh, "You sub Jared after the Mega Man X review. It was the last straw. He was not uh, not funny. Uh, now this happens. I'm glad I made the call. Or you, uh, oh, okay, you you unsubbed him. Okay, got it. Unsubbed him. The the end didn't show up for some reason." Okay, thank you for the $5 donation. <laughs> yeah, the Mega Man X7 review. Yeah, that was a controversial one, wasn't it? Um, but how many um, of you are really investing money in general? We're not talking about us, though. We're not talking about all of us. We're talking about, I'm pretty sure most people here have watched the video from Pro Jared. So if you've watched the video and you don't have Adblock, you've invested something. You've invested your time, at least. You've given him money. You've done something. You were a customer, or per se, right? So if you're watching ads, if you're donating, which he gets donations, if you're subbing, not trying to sit here and say that you should Thanos the man. Everybody has the right to Thanos him because I don't think that, you know? You have the right to an opinion, though, of a public figure. You have the right to an opinion of somebody who cheats on their wife. Everybody has that basic right opinion, okay? So to sit there and say that, oh, we're not allowed to say anything, no, that's not the case then don't have your wife in, in videos. Don't go back and change titles. Don't put out stupid blanket statements saying that this is what happened when that's not what happened. Don't sit there and act like you didn't do certain things to this woman. Don't do that then. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't, don't do that. If you want it to be nobody's business, then don't say anything. But obviously he's got stuff to hide. Um... Let's see here. Uh, did you uh, did you know he appeared on a Nick TV show for an episode? Uh, no, I didn't. What show was that? I believe all people deserve time to work on their uh, mental health. So don't dig themselves into a deep holes like this. Yeah, he needs to work on it. Exactly. D-Dub actually has a good point. Time is money. Getting the attention of somebody to watch your videos and with ad block off that's time that's why i say you ever notice how i come in there and say guys thank you for spending your time remember how many times i've said this guys how many times have i told you guys this thank you for spending your time with me you could have been watching anything else you guys could be somewhere else but you're right here so thank you i've i've thanked you guys for your time in addition to donations and stuff like that obviously thankful for all that but time and you guys spending your time here instead of you could be watching there's some 5 billion content creators that are streaming right now that are doing anything. So time is very valuable too. 
it is also very valuable, you know? Um, and if you invest time, time is the most valuable, one of the most valuable resources out there is time. Time, 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 time. So it's very important. Um, shout out Nexus. If you're talking about age of consent laws, you can still get in trouble for having explicit pictures of minors. Here's um, here age of consent is 16. And I know people who got in trouble for that. Well, if, if another person, if the age of consent is 16 and another a girl willfully sends their picture to him, um, where is he going to just help me understand the laws here? Where is he going to get in trouble for that? Um, if she says, okay, now if, if she gets a picture and she's like, whoa, wait a minute here, you know, and she has a problem with that, but if she willfully consents and sends a picture back on her own, what can you do legally? I like wine says, I remember last year when his house got flooded, a, a lot of his stuff got destroyed. I felt super bad. Um, and then, and I went back to watch his old vids from him. Now I see who he really is. There you go. Um, Game Shakers. Oh, okay. Game Shakers. Got it. Got it. We'll see if they scrub that episode of him though. Um, Weird how the producer for those shows was also a show. Oh gosh. I did not know. Okay. I read a statement. It's not bad. It just said um, it was private, but they had to split up. Dude, that's a trash state. I'm sorry, dude. That is a horrible statement. That is not a good statement on his end. I'll read the statement. So just so everybody can know, I, I have to, I, you know, I'm going to have to disagree. That ain't it, Chief. Michael, shout out to the Elite Ninja Michael. And once again, your opinion, you know, I'm not trying to sit here and say that, um, you know, that you're not entitled to it. But holy smokes, I disagree with that. I disagree with that assessment. That is a horrible statement. Um, it's, a, it's a very bad statement, in my opinion. Um, but hey, let's read it. So here's a statement. My wife, Heidi, and I have filed for divorce. I know this may come as surprising upsetting for many of you, but know that we do this so that we, mo we may both seek happiness for ourselves. During this time, you may see a lot of rumors, speculation, and gossip going around. I ask that you make your own observations and come to your own conclusions, which is what we're doing. I will add that this decision was reached after extensive individual therapy on my part and couples therapy together. With that said, this is all I plan on stating publicly regarding this matter. Heidi's privacy, mental well-being, and uh, discretion has always been and will remain my highest priority through all of this. That's a lie. It is my hope that we both exit this marriage with style and grace. That's also a lie um, or not happening. I plan on continuing to do everything I can on my part to make this happen. Thank you for your understanding, patience, kindness, and respect for our privacy. This is a BS statement and Heidi even said so. There's a number of things that are an issue with this statement. This therapy that they're that this therapy that he's talking about, we got pictures dating back years of him sending pictures to other people. What type of therapy are you talking about here? What what, what type of therapy are you, are you saying? Therapy together? What what do you mean for you sending pictures to people? For you for you cheating on your wife? Is that what you're talking about? What type of therapy are you discussing? Um, her privacy, mental well being has always been and will always remain your highest priority through all of this. That is not your highest priority through all of this. There is no way, based on this statement here, that your that her well being and what she's feeling is your top priority. Her top priority, the top priority would be to make your marriage work. Now I'm getting a little bit too personal here because it, this this just upsets me because this this ain't it. This is not. This is a lie. If you can't sit here and tell me talk about her mental well being is your highest priority, no, it's not. Sending pictures to women over the internet and then making her feel bad about it because yes that's the only way this thing would even happen making her that how is how has that always been your priority no it's not this is a lie this is a horrible statement are you trying to michael are you seriously trying to sit here and tell me that you're okay with this statement that this is is fine this is bs nobody is gonna sit here and believe this this is not how you try to sit here and care for somebody's well-being. Come on, man. If this is a girlfriend, it's not right 
but it's a girlfriend. But this is a wife. A wife, not a girlfriend, not a side chick. This is your wife, man. Come on. This is a terrible statement. I this this is this is terrible. This is a terrible statement. I I, I can't agree with that. Like I said, you're entitled to your opinion, but does anybody actually think that he he truly believes what he's saying here? And he blocked his wife on Twitter. Um he blocked his wife on Twitter. Wait, hold up. We're gonna um, hey, game, game core, game core. We're not gonna um, I'm gonna unban game core, but dude, um, calm down, game core, calm down. Okay, I'm gonna un I'm gonna unhide you, but please try to refrain from some of those uh, things that you just said. Try to refrain from that. Try to refrain, please. Um, so, do you really believe? I mean, this statement's horrible. Does anybody think this is a, a good statement? I, I, mean, I see people saying it's a BS statement. There's a lot of vagueness and truthlessness. I mean. Um, you wouldn't block if you cared about her mental well-being. Why you block her? Hey, Michael, I care about you. By the way, don't come out to my streams. I'm gonna block you on Twitter. I'm not gonna name dances after you like you did like the quad. I'm not gonna interact with you. I'm not gonna talk to you. But yes, I care about uh, I care about your well-being, my dude. I care about it. But don't don't mind me while I block your ass on Twitter and everything and social media and not talk to you. But I care about your well-being. I really do. Come on, man. Come on. Um, Andy with the $2 donation says, um, if you want a better version of his statement, and by that, I mean uh, the BS statement, here's a funnier version. Okay. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I saw that one. I, I did I did see this one. Um, yeah, yeah, that one. That one's pretty funny, too. I did see it. <laughs> um, uh, the statement was full of vague fluff. It's a BS statement. It is a BS statement. Then don't block her. Then don't block her. If 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 you care about her mental well being, then why are you blocking her? Obviously, she wants to talk to you, dude. You know what the funniest thing about all of this is? If Pro Jared actually decided to stop sleeping with with the girl, the other girl, he might have still been with his wife. I think she might have taken him back. That's the horrible thing about it. I think this was his doing. He wanted out, which is fine, but he promised her that he would stop. According to Heidi, he promised, or sorry, according, yeah, according to Heidi, he promised her that he would stop, you know, with all this stuff when she found out months ago. And it looks like she would have been like, okay, well, I'll try to save it. And he he wouldn't stop. So, so yeah, man. Thank you, Andy Mine. Thank you for the $2 donation, man. I appreciate that. It's vague fluff, but vague fluff is the kindest way to deal with divorce. And you know that uh, that divorce is going to become public with 100,000 or maybe millions of people. Okay, but but you didn't answer what we we're talking about here. Why did you block her? If, if Okay, listen, listen, listen. Michael, if he cares about her mental health and all that, why does he block her? Before she started going, before she started saying all this stuff, he blocked her before he made this statement then blocked her, and then that's when Heidi started talking. She obviously got to read the statement at some point, and she's like, uh, that's not it, chief. Why block her? If you care about her mental health and well-being, why block her? Why? Answer that question. Blocking her is a bad move, but the statement is fine. The statement is not fine. That means you're lying. That mean no, I don't. I, I we're just gonna have to agree to disagree. No, you can't sit here and say a blocking her is not good. But the statement's fine. He lies. How is a statement where he literally is lying? How is that okay? Fine. How? How? He's lying. He's lying, Michael. He's not telling the truth. He's not telling the truth. Of course he blocked her before the statement because he knew he blocked her before the statement because he knew that this was BS. He knew this statement was BS and he knew that she was going to comment on this statement. That's why he blocked her before the statement because he knew this statement that he was going to put out was BS. You know, PBG is uh, protecting, uh, protecting her. Um, 
protecting project i did hear about that but i don't know the full details with that dustin says he's almost in the same boat as philip and thinks he can get away with half with a half-ass apology Philip's apology was a lot better than this, but if you mean like the original apology, yeah, it's that was pretty bad as well. How long has he been cheating on her for? Um, well, if you count explicit pictures, years. Um, but I guess that some people don't might not consider that cheating. Um, but in terms of actual physical contact cheating, it seems like they've been it's been going on since the end of last year. It seems like it, at least four months. But I think the end of last year is when uh, when things kind of kind of fell apart. Or things started to fall apart with the whole phys actual like cheating with the other girl. Greasy controller game says I think blocking her is for future engagements with everything um, when everything is done. As current wife, she is more likely than access to him via phone. I that that that's a that's just that's just damage control for Jared, dude. I mean, like obviously if he blocks her on tw like well hold up hold up. I'm gonna block her on here, but I'm but I'm gonna have her cell phone and not get rid of. You honestly think that she's gonna talk to him via cell phone or anything like that? I mean, come on, he doesn't care about her mental health. He doesn't care. This is not how you treat somebody that you care about their mental health. This is not how you treat somebody, guys. I know a lot of you guys probably like Jared, or you're trying to find one some ways or not. And look, I I I like Jared too, or I used to like Jared too. But I can't, I can't sit here and defend this. There, there's nothing to defend about this. This is not how you treat somebody that you mentally care about. That you, that if you truly care about somebody's mental well-being, this is not how you treat them. This is not how you do it. If you guys want to disagree with me on that, fine, that's fine. But if, if this was me, I am not treating somebody like this. You know. Um, He's been making content. I just watched him stream the other day. He's not making stuff on his Pro Jared channel because those videos take forever to make and he can just make money watching people doing his old stuff. He But he's been making content on his Pro Jared Plays channel recently. There was videos that he just uploaded recently to his channel. He's on Twitch. He's been he's been streaming on Twitch too. He's streaming Yoshi's Woolly World. He's been streaming that new like Skyrim multiplayer game that looks like Skyrim. What's it called? Morta, Morta something or... He, I just watched them stream Yoshi's Boy, uh, Yoshi's Crafted World, sorry, Yoshi's Crafted World, and that other game just the other day. What are you talking about? People are subbing to him. He's been creating content. Just because he's not creating pro Jared videos doesn't mean he's not creating content. Dude's been creating content. Um, Shadow King says, pro Jared has proven that he has no honor. Um, if he didn't want to be with her anymore, he should have just broken up and got a divorce. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, what's up, AB? So, Sony, yeah. Sony talk time. Hey, LJ, since, sorry to ask this. I don't know your background, but what's uh, what's your current, uh, my current parent status? I'm, I'm a dad. What do you, I'm a dad. Plain and simple. That's, that's it. Um, Jade says, these people can't damage control for pro Jerry. The damage is done. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's fine. Whatever. For those who think it's okay, I can't change your mind. That's fine. Um, that's pretty much what it comes down to. Um, so there you go. <clears throat> All right. So let's go ahead and move on to the next topic here, guys. We got Nintendo's E3. Nintendo's E3 plans have been revealed. They are out there. We've got Sony State of Play in 30 minutes. So that should be fun. Let me go ahead and let me get the Sony State of Play ready for, um, for viewing pleasure. For your viewing pleasure. All right. So let me go ahead and put it right here. Uh, okay, they haven't put up the the stream yet for the thing. So once it goes up, we'll we'll switch over to it. All right. So Nintendo's E3 um, is uh, their plans have been revealed. We got Nintendo Direct. We've got Treehouse Live. We've got Super Smash Brothers and Splatoon tournaments and so much more. So it's going to be a lot of fun, huh? All right. So Nintendo's announced their plans. Let's get into it. So there's going to be a Super Smash Brothers Ultimate and Splatoon 2 tournaments. So there will be a three-on-three -three Smash Brothers tournament and the Splatoon 2 World Championship. Um, this will take place in Los Angeles, and this is going to be June 8th. So before really the hardcore E3 festivities start. Um, if you want to go, um, check out my video. There's more details on if you want to actually go to it because there is free entry. Uh, so there's that. It's going to start at 8, 8 a.m. PT. So whew, early morning start. So that's going to be fun. I'm going to be streaming it live, guys. So look out June 8th. I'll be streaming that live 8 a.m. PT, 11 a.m. Eastern. All right. And then um, uh, the doors. Hold up. Hold up. Never mind. The line entry starts at 8 a.m. Sorry. 
uh the actual event starts at 11 a.m the actual event starts at 11 a.m so there you go um so there you go um so uh all right so that's that and then next up is the nintendo direct e3 the presentation will begin this is the big one guys so this is what you guys want to know here this is the big one, 9 a.m. PT on June 11th. So we have the 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th. Three days later, um, it will start on June 11th at um, at 9 a.m. PT is the um, Nintendo Direct E3 2019. So that that is that. Is that. Um, the, pro, the presentation will focus, which focuses entirely on software. Just on software, there's not going to be any hardware announcements or anything like that. All on software, guys. And we'll offer a look at games scheduled to come out in 2019. So it's going to be focused on software and games in 2019. So that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, game fan 6219 thank you for the uh, follow. Welcome to the village, my boy. Shoutouts. Um, if somebody, if you have not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. Get your official introduction to the Ninja Village. And, of course, get a welcome from your boy Streamlabs and everybody here. So please, um, if you're not subscribed, please make sure you do so. Especially if you like Nintendo content. I do, I do daily content every single day. Um, all right, so let's see here. Um, then we also have the Nintendo Treehouse Live. Um, so the live stream hosted by Nintendo of America's Treehouse staff right from Nintendo's E3 booth returns to give viewers a deeper look into select games along with commentary by those who know the games best. People can view the live stream at Nintendo's E3 portal. Additional details of Nintendo Treehouse Live will be announced at a later date. And there's also the Warp Pipe Pass, which that is for people that are actually going to E3 to help them be able to play games faster because waiting four hours to play animal crossing is going to suck so that's going to help things out there all right so um i think we're going to go ahead and take questions if you guys have questions comments predictions for e3 feel free we're going to go ahead and ride that all the way to state of play so we're going to take those for about what 20 20 minutes or so 20 24 minutes um so give me your thoughts guys tag me at player essence or hashtag player essence i'll be more than happy to answer the questions here um all right what's one game you predict will be there one game that I predict will be there from Nintendo. Like, so a game that we don't know. Because, I mean, I can say just say, oh, yeah, Pokemon Sword and Shield is going to be there. So I can say that. Um, you're not entering the Smash tournament? No. my The, the thing about this is the championship. So if, if I would have entered this, I, I would have had to go to, like, drive to Los Angeles and enter that tournament, like, months ago in order to get into this. So no. Hell no. And that tournament had freaking Smash Balls and items, dude. Um, or that tournament has Smash Balls and items. I don't want I don't want any part of that. Um, what's up, Pete um, that means an um, an early evening start for me. Maybe you should uh, learn Square. I don't want to watch at 3 a.m. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're, let's see here. Um, that's 11 um, a.m. CT where I'm at. Guess I'll take a lunch break on that day. I would say take that day off, my boy. Take that day off if you can. Uh, take that day off for, if, if you can. Um, let's see here. So Nintendo had three full days. They could have decided to present their stuff but nope, but nope, even with Sony not at E3, Nintendo felt the need to not show up on an earlier day for E3 week. Well, they always show up at the same point. So I don't understand. I don't understand what you're talking about because E3 week is on that. The t it starts on the 10th, right? Um, because I don't understand what you're talking about here. <laughs> what do you mean three full days? E you want to do it during E3 week. It's within the booth. You can't be inside the booth and do all your stuff before the show opens. The, you don't know, E3, I don't know if you understand how E3 is. The, um, the show like june 8th the week before that's not in the same area where e3 is taking place vc that's taking place at a different place so they don't have three full days beforehand e3 doesn't start that week they're just doing a tournament that week e3 starts the following day e3 starts on that monday so no there is no three full days that's the weekend leading up to it you know what i'm saying so i don't know what you're talking about so look, let me give you let me give you a, a calendar so you understand um vc june 8th that's a saturday okay e3 doesn't officially start until the following week which is monday so there is no three full days there's a saturday there's a sunday and then monday is when e3 actually starts the show floor doors open on june 11th so june 11th is when e3 actually opens its doors to for people to come in so there is no three full days you, you gotta do the presentation to show off stuff when you're there to treehouse live and all that stuff so i don't know what you're talking about um but yeah their 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 presentation is on june 11th that is the that is the day that e3 is officially open so i don't get it um let's see here if, 
um jade says uh my nintendo or my nintendo e3 predictions are pikmin 4 more information on animal crossing and luigi's mansion 3 more bayonetta 3 smash dlc show and astral chain and retro studios game okay good stuff official predictions final fantasy 7 remake for switch i don't think that's happened um let's see here uh dragon Knight 23x production says and microsoft usually goes on monday nintendo goes on tuesday so there you go what do you think the theme for animal crossing switch is going to be uh animal crossing like like an enhanced the wide world like animal crossing something to do with like the world or something like that so that'd be the theme um getting a bunch of people in your village or something like that um you know that you're close enough to uh to go to that tourney just afraid to take on zero hot tur zero didn't go to that tourney i don't think zero didn't even qualify or enter into the those, that thing so so yeah <laughs> Uh, and Zero doesn't live, Zero, I think Zero lives in, like, where does Zero live? He lives, like, in, like, Miami or Florida or something like that? Or he lives in Chicago? I think he lives in Chicago or Florida, so he wouldn't even, even entered into my area anyway. My area is Los Angeles. <laughs> Official prediction is Mario Plus Rabbids 2. Uh, I know we're not in the topic anymore, but Pro Jared was removed from the Normal Boots Twitter account. That makes sense. Um, John B says, uh, official wish. Well, you guys can ask me questions about Pro Jared, too, if you want. Um, that's fine. I'll take, I'll take random questions before we get into St Sony State of Play. Um, John B says official was Super Mario make Super Mario RPG 2 um, Daniel Crowder says do you think there'll be anything new shown after the Splatoon and Smash tournaments? Uh, probably not. Maybe maybe a Smash DLC character, but probably not. They'll probably save that uh, Karam says a lot of Japanese switch love at this E3. Yep, I think so. Um, I think so Let's see here uh, Players what El Jink just said what did El Jink just say? I didn't see it. there's too many people in here So I didn't see what he said. He didn't tag me either Nintendo's 2019 is stacked, so I don't really think they need to announce many new games, but I do feel that it needs to be uh, needs to be Mario RPG announced, either Paper Mario or Luigi. Okay, yeah, I talked about that. I talked about that in the video as well. Um, let's see here. Smash balls and items are legit. Uh, gotta be crunchy when we when we play high drop rates here. Bruh, I'm good. That's fine. You want to play that way? That's fine. I don't want to play that way. Uh, Shadow King says, I feel like we're going to get, okay, more details on Dragon Quest XI S. Uh, like the new content, like character stories and altered 3DS content. Well, yeah, they've already given us a lot of con uh, details on that, but yeah, we'll see if there's a little bit more. Maybe we get an actual release date for the game too. Um, all right. Uh, Charity Scott, you got to put my name together, Charity Scott. Otherwise, it doesn't highlight, but let me see here. Um, I found it. The game was Dark Souls. I, yeah, I knew it was like Bloodborne or Dark Souls or something like that. And the demon thing was a boss in the game uh, called Church Boss, by the way. Um, it was a guy. I was dating... That I played the game, not my brother. <laughs> All right, there you go. Dark Souls 3. Uh, Kieran Buckley says, I hope Nintendo doesn't forget about Zelda Link's Awakening with all the big game titles to talk about most of my anticipated game about this. Well, they said they're going to focus on 2019 games, so I don't see why they'd forget about a, a 2019 game. Um, okay, we got another uh, donation from David Balfour. Sorry about that, David. I know it was four minutes ago, but I missed it. A $5 donation. So thank you, David. Uh, pressure drop. I appreciate that. And he says, do you think a new game by the team that did Octopath Traveler will be announced at E3? Uh, what would you like to see if they do? Well, I'd like to see Bravely Default. I think Bravely Default has a shot at being at E3 this year. So I'd like to see like a Bravely Default 3 or a brand like Bravely Default new subtitle. I would love to see a full Bravely Default made for the Nintendo Switch. So yeah, new Bravely Default would be my my thing that I'd like to, that I would love to see. Um, all right, guys, we've got a lot of questions here. Um, do you think Jared will apologize? I think he has to apologize if he wants to continue his career. So, yes, I think he'll apologize eventually. Uh, let's see here. And Ava says, oh, man, did I miss the pro Jared discussion? You did, but I do have DVR enabled, so you can rewind it. You can rewind it if you want to. And make sure you guys remind me about State of Play, too, if, so I don't like forget about it because it's only 10 minutes long. Uh, let's see. Uh, Zero's in Florida, and he's quitting um ultimate tournaments i don't remember him saying that he's quitting tournaments he said that he's i remember when he came, he said that he came back with temple storm he said he's going to be competing i know he's went to like a, a tournament or two i think maybe right now he's just taking a break but he needs to focus on his health i mean i'm looking at zero he really needs to focus on his health i don't know why he's not focusing on his health because he's getting unhealthier and unhealthier um and he's talked about mental like he's had some issues mentally and things like that so i think zero really needs to really really needs to not go to tournaments and focus on his health focus on getting into the gym because he's not looking he's not looking good he's not looking and i'm not trying to be mean i'm just going off of what he he even said himself that he needs to focus on his mental health and focus on his weight and i feel that it's, it's just getting worse like somebody showed a picture of him yesterday and oh my gosh he's like he's way bigger than what he was you know like two like like two years ago you know so he, he needs to focus on that more so than playing in ultimate tournaments and all that so so yeah 
Um, let's see here. I'm ready for the new Mario sports game they're going to announce for August release. We'll see. I just want to say the statement is BS. If he cared about her mental health in the first place, he wouldn't have cheated a GF and side hose. <laughs> but that was his wife shaking my head. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, let's see here. There's so much Nintendo can have as their main focus. It's hard to guess what it'll be. The most logical one would be Super Mario Maker 2 because it's their biggest game right after E3. It could be, but you never know, man. They might just focus on a lot of stuff, you know? I think last year's E3 was very Japanese game focused. I could see this year being more Western game focused. Uh, now's the time to do that. I don't think so. Nintendo is a Japanese company and their biggest games are going to be Japanese titles. So I don't know how it's going to be more Western game focused. Like, I don't understand that logic. Like All of Nintendo's E3s are Japanese game focused. Every single Nintendo E3 that they've ever had outside of like maybe E3, like outside of some of, like, some of the Wii E3s, but every single E3 that they've had, like with the Switch and even with the Wii U, was Japanese folks outside like I said like the Wii U the first one was a lot of Western games and things like that but I I, I don't think it's gonna be Western focused no it's gonna be Japanese game focused because Japanese developers are gonna be the developers that are actually making games for the switch more so than Western developers we just got a new Ghost Recon announced it's not announced for the Nintendo switch whereas stuff like God Eater stuff like AI summoning files stuff like you know what I'm saying like all the stuff that Penny Namco is doing a lot of stuff that Sega like Shin Megami Tensei we're getting big games from Japanese developers whereas Western developers aren't pointing as many things or they have to get panic button to do it after the game releases so no i, I don't i don't see that coming i don't see that at all um did i miss your streamlabs question um i think i answered your question okay i think i answered it now david sorry about that i did miss it but i think i answered it in terms of the octopath stuff so yeah i did answer it. so sorry about that i'm just a little behind um andy mine donated another two dollars and says there hasn't been a lot of music here so i'll bring one up this is one of my favorite songs from sonic colors heck of, heck of a banger okay so let's go ahead and get this music going and we'll um play that for you um, like I said, you guys let me know about this whole state of play thing too, okay guys? Don't let me go over on time because we got to make sure that we catch it because even if we miss a minute or two, we could miss we could miss something big. So, so there you go. Um, oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Why did I click off? Why did I click off of that? Wait, why is that up there? Oh, okay. I need to erase this. Okay. If you guys are having trouble with the stream, refresh your stream right now. R refresh it real quick. Or even if you're not having trouble with the stream, refresh it. Um, all right, so let's see here. Um, music, music, music. Da is it Davion? Davion Johnson with the subscription. Thank you so much, Davion. Welcome to the village. Everybody in the chat, please welcome Davion to the village. Remember, guys, if you want an official shout out, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Um, all right, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and let's get this music. All right, here we go. All right, it might be a little loud at the beginning here, guys. I'll balance the audio. Let me know how it sounds once it starts up. Um, let's see here. Um, yeah, a new Bravely default would be dope. Let me know how it sounds, guys. Please let me know how it sounds in the chat. I'm hoping for Shimmer got my 10 say 5 info. Yeah, that'd be dope. Normal Boots just deleted every video with Pro Jared in it. Yikes. Comic says, what Nintendo's uh, main talk will be since last year was Smash Ultimate at E3? I don't know if I don't. I think there'll just be a, a lot of different games. Daniel Crowder says, um, I would love to, um, love to an announcement for Persona for Switch. Uh, Super Mario Odyssey DLC and something for Model Soft. That'd be dope. Anaba says, um, Anaba Tenway says, probably won't happen, but I would uh, get hyped. Oh man, I missed. I, I, I get hyped if they announce a new Advance Wars. That would be, I think they could. I think they could. Um, state of play starts in 10 minutes. Gotcha. Thank you. Um, a lot can be announced in 10 minutes. Yeah, but there's only a limit to what you can do, though. And just don't worry, I'm ready to spam you with, are you streaming State of Play? So, you know, thank you. I need that. Sorry, I'm late getting to the village. What's up, Corey? Good to see you here. Sounds good. My prediction, Monolith Soft's new game will be a brand new IP released in 2020. Yo, that'd be dope. The Warp Pipe Pass seems to hint towards something big in Mario World. Not really. It just sounds like a really gimmicky name that they put there so people can play so people can play uh, play games faster. What's uh what's up OJ? I'm gonna miss the whole stream. I'm heading to class now. Alright, take it easy. I think they'll tease another Ross edition at Smash E3 tease. I think they'll probably just announce it, right? Mage from Twitter says Attack on Titan 2 is on sale. Have you played it? It's worth 30 um, is it worth $34? Yeah, I've played Attack on Titan 2. I have some like let's plays of it. Is it worth $34? I would wait till it's like a little bit cheaper, probably in the, in the like Black Friday or something like that. I wanna see Modelus uh, new Modelus Soft's new game. Okay. Me too. <laughs> I think everybody does. Um, 
Man, Normal Boots deleted every video with Pro Jared in it. That's, that's crazy. I didn't expect them to do that. Um, SE Square Enix E3 predictions. Um, maybe a new new Bravely default game. Um, if you don't want me asking, are you? I'm, I'm, no, I'm not married. I'm not married. I'll just say that I'm I'm not officially married. That's all I'll say. Is a relationship status. Um, Lucius Augustus with the with the donation or sorry with the uh, subscription. Thank you so much, Lucius. Welcome. Welcome to the bills, my boy. Um, shout out to Five Nights at Freddy's with the two dollars donations. Thank, thanks for working so hard. Thank you guys for showing up to the stream today. 300, 300 plus people today. Thank you guys for showing up and thank you for supporting the stream. I appreciate it. I really do appreciate that. Not expecting much from this state of play. Yeah, I don't know if there's going to be much from this state of play, to be honest, dude. I don't know if there's going to be much. Yo, shout outs to Big Bailey with the Toby Buster. Let's go, David. No, Big Bailey. Oh, and David. Yo, shout outs. Welcome. New member, too. Big. Okay, let's, let's, let's get this straight, guys. Big Bailey with the 20. Becoming the top stream ninja. Swooping in. Also, Hokage mode for the month. Also, top ninja pledge recently as well. So shout outs to Big Bailey. Thank you so much for the $20 donation to say, OJ, can you play some Fire Emblem next? Your choice. Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll play some Fire Emblem for you, my boy. We'll definitely play some Fire Emblem for you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate the, the donation. And shout outs to David Balfour becoming that elite ninja. Thank you so much. Enjoy your emotes and also enjoy access to our exclusive Discord where you can play video games against the Elite Ninja and myself as well. Already this week, we've played Mario Kart and we've played Super Smash Brothers, and we're probably gonna play some ARMS tonight, or maybe, maybe. I said maybe because this stream's gonna go on and I forgot about State of Play uh, and all that, but uh, if not, we're gonna play ARMS tomorrow and we're probably gonna mix it up. We're also gonna start adding in community polls for games too. Um, I'm adding in a brand new thing this Saturday, um, Elite Ninja, like day or Elite Ninja um, Saturdays, where we play games um, after PE Live. I'll take a little bit of a break and then we'll play games almost till the spawn cast. Um, so we'll lead from games for all, we'll, so we'll just stream. We'll just play games against the Elite Ninja all the way till almost the spawn cast, maybe about an hour or two before the spawn cast starts. And then we can all watch the spawn, well, I'm on the spawn cast. So then you guys can all go watch the spawn cast. Uh, so there, so basically, I don't know. I, I, I don't, uh, so, so yeah, but I'm putting that together as well. That might debut this, this week. Um, is there no PE podcast? There, there will be a PE podcast this, uh, today. Yes. There will be a PE podcast today. Yes, there will be. Yes. Yes. Um, so thank you. Thank you, David. Um, thank you so much. Um, I will be putting a discord link on the community page. So look out for that, David. And thank you for, thank you for the elite ninja, um, elite ninja. Uh, what's it called? Elite ninja pledge. Uh, it's me, Markel Hawthorne. I think I was accidentally blocked. I created a different account so I could inform you on this. Oh, you were accidentally blocked? Spare, spare? Okay. Um, I will go into my block list and I will see. Um, I will unblock you. T minus eight. Okay. Final Fantasy Seven will be teased in state of play. Oh, because Square Enix like retweeted the um, retweeted the state of play. Yo, what's up, DJ? How's it going, man? Been a while. Um, let's see here. Hoping to see get confirmation on from. Hold up. Is there anything I'm hoping to see your confirmation on? Um, yeah, I'd love to see uh, Model of Soft's new game. So yeah. Um, what are you most excited for at E3? Um, Pokemon Sword and Shield, Astral Chain, and Model of Soft hopefully being there. So yeah. Let's see, it's, uh, all right. So let me try to see if I can find the, what's the state of play live stream. Um, cause it's not, the feed should be live at this point. Cause we're about like eight minutes away. And guys, make sure you guys remember, remind me to record it so I can upload it separately to the channel. So somebody say, Hey, OJ hit the record button. Okay. Make sure you guys, and then tell me once it's done, make sure you tell me to stop hitting the record button after I'm done giving my thoughts. Okay. Mods. 
remind me to hit the record button and to also when i'm done giving my thoughts on state of play to stop hitting the record button please mods remind me otherwise i will forget um is the state of play can a mod link me the state of play i don't see it um i'm doing good skip it man how are you doing just give me a genoblade chronicles one hd not yet okay here we go okay here we go all right so hold up let me get the reaction i am going to do it for youtube too so i am going to move this reaction over to where let's hide this chat and let's also hide tube buddy thingy so let's make it full screen let's also take it Put it in the top corner let me see how it looks full screen like this okay all right i think i kind of want to make it to where it's like Theater. But I can't like pop the player out. I wish I could. Just made it in time. Yeah, we know. It yeah, Pro Jared's, uh, what's it called, is, is dropping fast, we know. Oh yeah, I can't do both. I just realized. Yeah, so it's gonna have to be more... gonna have to just be like it's gonna have to be like this it's like it's just gonna have to be like this. and then i will reduce the, the camera size i'll just like reduce it so i'm just gonna put it up in the top corner here So, Big Bailey, we are since we're so close to the state of play, we are going to play your song. Hopefully, you can stay. The, it's only ten minutes long, so then we are gonna we're gonna play your song after we're done with the state of play. But it's only ten minutes, so we will get to your so song, Big Bailey. Um, we will get to your song. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear? How's the audio? How's the volume in the audio? Can you guys hear me? Is it is it well? Is it well balanced, or do I need to turn it up a little bit? Like, how is it balanced like this? What's up, Big Mo? What's up, Brian James? How's it going, man? We Gamer said record three minutes uh, ago, so disregard that later when you make the video. Now, I'd rather just have it to where it's close enough to when I start, so I don't have to cut out a lot. The audio's good? Okay, let me know during the stream if it needs to be turned up. You guys let me know during the stream if it needs to be turned up. Okay, yeah, sorry about that, Big Belly. We're just really close, and I don't want to have to cut the track short or anything like that you know let's um let's 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 zoom in just a little bit because since it's a small camera just zoom in just a little bit more there we go perfect now okay all good on your end you guys have any um predictions for the state of play before we start up ps all-stars battle royale avengers square enix game and crash team racing will be shown okay All good on your end. Well, yo, what's up, Frank? How's it going, my boy? Uh, having an affair is one of the most disgusting things a person can do. Um, my my dad did it to my mom a year before she died. Oh, my gosh. I'm still very bitter about it. Yeah, dude, you have every right 
you have every right to be bitter, man. And I'm sorry to hear about your mom, dude. I'm that's 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 rough, dude. Losing mom, and I'm terribly sorry about that. I really am, man. That sucks. But yeah, cheating is bad. Cheating is very very bad. Uh, no Last of Us 2, so don't complain about it not being shown, okay? Well, I'm not going to complain. Um, I was one of the very few that was like, hey, look, you know, this state of play, maybe you guys didn't like like it the most, but I mean, like, look, look, listen. Listen, it's understandable. Can we get Sly Cooper 5? Yeah, Sly Cooper 5 would be cool. Record? Okay, yeah, let's record. All right, what's up, everyone? OJ here. Welcome to the State of Play live reaction. We're going to be reacting to this here. We're pretty much starting up. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and let's get into this. We got about a minute left, less than a minute. Got everybody here, the chat boys. Chat boys, say hi. We got chat boys here, and then we'll also have YouTube boys later when you guys watch it. So, uh, chat boys and girls. So, this should be interesting. This should be very, very interesting. Hopefully, my CPU does not explode from me recording at the same time. Um, so... <laughs> I think I should be okay. I think I should be okay. What HD? What HD are we at? We at 1080p? Bruh. Bruh, let's just let's just roll the 720 real quick. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, all right, let's do it. If frames start dropping, guys, I will reduce it. But shout outs to everybody here. Do appreciate it. What's up, YouTube boys, chat boys? Good to see you guys here. Good to see you guys here. What are you guys looking forward to the most? I love doing these re records because it's like I can talk to the people that are on YouTube. Like, what do you guys want to see? That I can also talk to the people here that are here live. So it's awesome. And this will be uploaded on YouTube. So whatever, if you if you miss it or if you had to go right now, if you're live here in the chat, that's okay. It'll be on YouTube. You guys will be able to watch. But it should be fun. And I'm wearing a My Hero shirt. So don't let me down, Sony. Don't let me down. All right, starting up. Okay. Oh, that's like the PlayStation startup. That's like the PlayStation startup thing. Hey. Hey, do you hear that? Okay, Monster Hunter. The update? Is it the wind? No, that's not it. Is that singing? You look like an ice ice world. Audio's low. Okay. How's that now, guys? Ice monster! It's a deer yeti ice monster! No ram! Looks fierce! Identified tracks are cropping up all over the new world. It's having an incredible effect on other life in the new world. These spikes, are they from? It's gotta be a spring update, guys. It's not a sequel, it's an update. Singing? What is that? Everyone thought it was just a mere myth. But 
there it is. Valkana. Iceborne. Lost our world Iceborne. It's like a new single player expansion? Okay, so summer. Summer. Basically summer. Massive expansion. Place. Welcome back to State of Play. Today we're keeping it short and sweet with a new look at some of our most anticipated upcoming PS4 games. Check out Capcom's official stream right after this broadcast to find out more about the icy setting, new story, and new monsters that await. Okay, there's plenty more to get to. This next game is a frantic take on dungeon crawling. Let's take a look. Okay, we got like a... Uh, um, that looks like 3D game heroes, but like... Maybe roguelike, maybe? I'm not streaming Capcom Street next town, though. <laughs> You monster hunter weirdos can go watch that on your own. I, I ain't streaming that, bro. That's gonna be taking way too long. That's true, that's true. That's true. Slightly too, now you guys are saying it's too loud. Riverbond heads to PlayStation Store this summer. Okay, Riverbond. How about <laughs> Riverbond? Okay. Now let's check out a new project from PlayStation's Worldwide Studios. Now that's good, okay. Oh, what's this? What's this? SOCOM? SOCOM? Oh! Tell me this is SOCOM! Predator hunt- Predator hunting grounds. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Predator Hunting Grounds is an online asymmetrical multiplayer shooter that pits a fire team against the stealthy killing machine. Ilphonic is handling development in close partnership with Fox, and it's due out on PS4 next year. Hmm. PlayStation Blog <laughs> has more details. Oh. Up next, the remake of Medieval, which is officially coming to PS4 this fall. <laughs> Well, I tried. I tried. A sorcerer named Zerok. He raised an army of demons <laughs> and set out to take the realm. So then I tried, man. You, led the militia <laughs> in the battle against this unholy horde. Fortescue went down in history that day as the hero of Galamir. And then the sorcerer returned. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to defeat Zarok. This is looking good. This looks good. I'll probably play this. This is looking good. A chance to forget the ignoble truth and live up to the legend. <laughs> Bow and arrow. Okay, 
Yeah, October 25th. Not bad. Good stuff. It's we a good game. We don't have to wait long to play it. Medieval returns this fall on PS4. Now let's take a look at a truly original new game that's coming to PS4. This idyllic place is our world. It has every appearance of paradise. From the white sand beaches to the mighty treetops, it appears still and peaceful. But if you look closer, there is more to this than meets the eye. Oh, is this wild? Every living being is locked in a deadly competition. Ahead lurks a land of great danger for some Badger and opportunities for others. But our world has changed. To survive, we too must change. Will you have what it takes to survive? Away. Away. I thought it was Rocky and Bowwinkle. Your mission is simple. Survive natural disasters and find your way to sanctuary. Let's shift gears. We've got a first look at an upcoming limited edition PS4 system. Let's take a look. New PS4 system. Super slim PS4. The limited edition Days of Play PlayStation 4 in steel gray will be available for a limited time as part of Days of Play. The event kicks off in June. Keep your eyes peeled. We're almost out of time, but before we go, we wanted to give you a new look at a long-awaited game. Oh, what's this? Oh! Oh, snap! Oh, Final Fantasy VII Remake! Let's go! I'm here for you to help take the load off your shoulders. So... What's our next move, boss? That's easy enough. Are you okay? I'm fine. Here, this is for you. A flower? <laughs> Woo! See the planet suffer, cloud. Ooh, let's go! Let's go! More to come in June. Okay, more at E3. Let's go! Final Fantasy VII Remake re-envisions one of the most beloved games of all time for the PS4 generation. We can't wait to see more. Finally! Well, that's a wrap on State of Play. We've got lots more in store for you later this year. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Okay, okay! See? Much better! Much better! See? Okay! <laughs> the, okay, to be honest, Final Fantasy VII Remake saved the State of Play for tonight! <laughs> okay, okay! Let's talk! Let's talk about this because this was this was interesting. Um, overall, the state of play was. Um, uh, first of all, I want to go ahead and do this. Renangon unlock. Frank R with the fifty dollar donation watching during the recording of this. So shout out to the YouTubers. <laughs> Make sure you guys join me live for all the YouTube people that were able to join me live. But thank you, Frank R with the fifty dollar donation. It says finally. Yeah! Final Fantasy VII, let's go. Yes, absolutely. Final Fantasy VII was amazing to see. It looks great. It looks phenomenal. It looks really good. 
and you better have a damn PS4 Pro if you actually want to play this game in anything more than like 20 frames per second. You better have a PS4 Pro or you're going to be in trouble without that PS4 Pro. But no, my, my, my thought process on the whole state of play is, like I said before, if Sony brings good games, the state of play will be a lot better. I said this. I said this before, and thank you, Frank Gar. Thank you for the $50 donation. We'll talk about that and everything like after I do my recording here. But I said this. I said all state of play needs is better games. That's all they need is better games than the previous one. And that's what they did. They brought Final Fantasy VII. Now everybody's like, oh, Final Fantasy VII. It's hype. That's a great state of play now. So when the PS5 launches, imagine the really cool games like the next God of War or the next games there. It's going to be good. Short and sweet. The other games, you know, eh. I mean, that that Predator game, it's like online, always online. Got to pay for PSN. Nah, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want any part of that. So a lot of the games that they showed, I didn't really want any part of. The Medieval remake looks good. Um, it looks good. It looks it looks good enough. But overall, I thought it was a pretty good, pretty good state of play. Um, good with Final, and Final Fantasy VII Remake. Showing that off for the first time. Uh, I, I, well, not the first time, but us getting our actual, like, voice acting and more of the gameplay of the game looked absolutely amazing looked absolutely amazing um so yeah amazing stuff there so what did you guys think of the state of play those who are watching in the chat and also on youtube let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and we will see you guys we'll see you guys for the next video peace all right done with the recording for youtube all right, guys, shout out to Frank R. Thank you so much for the $50 donation, man. I really do appreciate that. I really do appreciate the $50 donation um, to the Ninja War Funds. Um, let's go ahead and get you up here on the top stream, Ninja. And we're also going to have to play some music here, too. We got we to gotta play some um, some uh, Fire Emblem for Big Bailey, who did the $20 donation. So, Frank R. with the 50 unlocking that Renangon. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. We're also going to update the member goal, too. We actually got a couple new members today. So, thank you, guys. Uh, so, what did you guys think? I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. Uh, let's play some Fire Emblem Three Houses music. Let me know how it sounds in the chat here, guys. All right? Solid 5 out of 10. Was that 5 just because of Final Fantasy 7 Remake? Yeah, they've been dragging Final Fantasy 7 for how long already? I want to see actual gameplay running in real time, and then I'll be hyped for Well, that's true. There was real-time gameplay in there, though. All right, how does it sound, guys? How does it sound? Gunslinger says 8 out of 10. 7 out of 10 starter point, but finished with nice with Final Fantasy 7. All right. Final Fantasy 7 made it decent. Yeah, if I was to give it a review score... I'd probably give it like a 6.5 to 7 out of 10. Maybe 7, 7, 7 out of 10. Not bad. Short and sweet. Short and sweet. Are you hyped for Monster Hunter? Um, no, not really. I'm not a big Monster Hunter fan. But yeah, having the Monster Hunter in there, the Iceborne, the first footage of Iceborne and Final Fantasy VII, that's not bad. Uh, Jump Mom with the dollar donation says, can, can, you, uh, can you play Final Fantasy VII battle theme after this song? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's a C. Yeah, I'll give it like a C. C, C minus. Katana Riku says, 7 out of 10. Didn't really get excited until Final Fantasy 7. Okay. Ver my verdict? Still don't want a PS4? Dude, I don't know, man. Final Fantasy 7 Remake looks like it's going to be... Looks like it's going to be beefy! Looks like it's going to be really good. Looks like it's going to be really good. So we'll have to wait and see. We have to wait and see, man. Um, let's see here, guys. I'm going to try something that I've never done before. And hopefully the stream doesn't crash. If you guys are experiencing issues, let me know. <laughs> but I'm gonna, wait, wait a minute. No, I, I have to edit. I have to edit. Never mind. I have to edit it. I was gonna try to I'll just upload my reaction, but I'll have to wait. Um, let's see here. Um, I'll give it a seven. Final Fantasy VII was good. Didn't uh, waste uh, too much time on other decent announcements. Okay, seven. Let's see. I can't wait to hear out Nobuo Uematsu of always Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VII soundtrack this time. Ryan is just, I think uh, Monster Hunter World DLC each other dragged on for too long. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Because that was like, I think they spent a solid uh, four to five minutes of the presentation. So, nearly half. 
or at least more than a quarter of the presentation on one game, Monster Hunter. But then again, Nintendo did that with with, uh, with Super Smash Bros. But I loved every second of it. But it's a little bit different from a game getting its first reveal compared to a game that's already been out for, what, a year now or something like that? So, so yeah. Um, 3.7 out of 5. They showed uh, SOCOM or Killzone. It would have gone up to a 4 out of 5. Yeah, I thought that was SOCOM, dude. I thought it was SOCOM, and it wasn't SOCOM. Frank Rodriguez, Frank Rodriguez says, I agree with the C rating. Okay. Shoutouts, Frank. Shoutouts. The Riverside game looked uh, like Pokemon Quest. Yeah, it did, kind of. Uh, JT Goose says, I would say 7.5 out of 10. The only games that looked interesting to me were Away, Monster Hunter, Medieval, and obviously Final Fantasy VII um, Remake. Well, that's a lot of the games. That, there wasn't many games more than that shown. So that means, I don't know, if, if, if those looked all interesting to you, that might have been like an 8 out of 10, right? DJ King says, uh, 3 out of 10, tired of seeing Final Fantasy VII. Well, yeah, I mean, just having it be there is cool, but yeah, you're right, like, the game has dragged on for quite some time, so, I mean, that game was announced in 2015, so, we're actually giving them kudos and credit for finally showing off, not even, like, a full, like, gameplay demo, but showing off, like, another trailer four years later, so, yeah, when you look at it that way, yeah, I mean, it, it I guess it's a little bit neutered a bit, right? Monster Hunter update was neat, yeah, that was good. Jacob says there wasn't enough to even grade it. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake looks great. That's what the whole thing was for. Okay. Jacob says I would give it a 7 out of 10. Final Fantasy VII saved it for me. Uh, what do you think Final Fantasy VII will be? An action RPG or episodic? It's going to be an action RPG, and I don't think it's going to be episodic anymore. I think they'll fix it. Uh, Part says I thought it was pretty good. Overall, they had some uh, new game announcements as well. Uh, look at Medieval and Final Fantasy VII Remake. And also, no VR. That's true. No VR. You're right about that. No VR. You're absolutely right about that. So, so they did, and then they also listened to what people said, like, finish off on a bang, you know, on something that we haven't seen before. So, I mean, but I, then again, we have seen Final Fantasy VII, but they know that everybody wants to see Final Fantasy VII remake, so there you go. Uh, Monster Hunter DLC, Final Fantasy VII, and Away look lit. Uh, made the State of Play a mini, uh, mini a good watch. Uh, State of Play mini a good watch, 7 out of 10. Okay, that's fair. Burdock Loco says Final Fantasy VII uh, took it from a 0 out of 10 to 5 out of 10. Burdock Loco, a tough grader. Red Enigma says Final Fantasy VII Remake uh, looks so dope. And the best part for me is that I never got to play the original version, uh, but I will ultimately get my chance to, um, at some point in the future. Okay. Do they show anything other than uh, Midgar? Um, if not, it might be still episodic. They didn't show anything else, but I think they said more to come June. So I think they just showed like the game, the parts of the game that are the most developed. So I don't, I don't think it's going to be episodic. I hope it's not. You want to kill the game, make it episodic. You know what's, you know, because you know what I'm going to do? If it's episodic, I'm just going to wait till it's all complete, then buy the game when it's complete and all on disc. That's what these stupid episodic games do. Like, or, I mean, if anything, they're going to do it like Final Fantasy 13, which is, I, I, they, they claim that Final Fantasy 13 is one big game split into three parts. That's what they claim, but the problem is that I don't really think that was the way that the game was made. I don't, like, there's a difference between starting out a game that you already know the ending compared to a game that's brand new. Final Fantasy VII is a game that we already know about. So if, we're, if we already know the ending, there's no point in doing it episodic. That's stupid. That's really dumb, so I really hope they don't do that. Um, do you think that Final Fantasy XV DLC was canceled to have more devs work on Final Fantasy VII? Or was it just uh, Final Fantasy XV DLC was not profitable? Um, no, it was canceled because the... the the producer left. The guy who was doing all the DLC decided to go to start his own studio. So I think that's the real reason why it was canceled. Um, and Arcadia says, uh, Monster Hunter Final Fantasy VII looked good, so 5 out of 10. I bought Final Fantasy VII a few, uh, for Switch a few days ago because I never got a chance to play it. Should I have waited? Well, I don't know why. You already knew Final Fantasy VII Remake was coming. That game was announced in 2015. So why are you asking if you should have waited if you wanted to maybe buy this game instead? Like, there's, there should have been a clear... You're, you, you, you're paying what you get for, dude. Like, we already knew Final Fantasy VII Remake was coming. You already knew that. So I don't know why, if you're trying to make a decision between the two, like, that's... I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> they're two completely different things. Final Fantasy VII Remake is little, literally a new game. The story's gonna be the same, but the game is... It doesn't play like the Final Fantasy VII on the PS1. It's an action RPG. It's like some type of action or turn-based... ATV or action-based game. It's not a regular turn-based game. They're not standing, like, it's it's just not. So, I mean, like, this game was announced a long time ago. So, and they did have trailers for it, and they did say it was coming. So, I mean, I don't know, like, if you're trying to sit here and say, oh, should I have waited? Like, dude, the game was announced in 2015, you know? Um, so, let's see here. I think they're trying to incorporate the comp uh, compilation of Final Fantasy VII into, okay? A compilation? What do you mean by that? 
DJ King Gaming says, I think it's going to be episodic. They only have shown Midgar since the first reveal. We know Midgar is basically the first three to five hours of the game, which is like 30 to 40 hours long. Dude, if they do that, that's going to be a bad, that's going to be a mistake, man. Um, Solomon Soul says, when do you think this game will actually um, going to come out Final Fantasy VII Remake? When do I think it's going to come out? I think it's going to come out next year. Next year. Um, happy to see Tetsuya Nomura is finally finishing um, his games first. Final Fantasy XV Kingdom Hearts, now Final Fantasy VII Remake. Well, how is he finally see, finally finishing them? Well, yeah, I guess he's finally finishing them, but they're taking way too long, though. Uh, you guys are all thinking it's going to be episodic. I think we're going to have to wait and see. All right, if you guys have random questions, feel free to ask me random questions as well. I'll be more than happy to answer you guys' random questions. Um, so just tag me at Player Essence or hashtag Player Essence. If you're someone new to the village, uh, basically what we do here, make sure you subscribe because um, I take questions from subscribers. You got to subscribe if you're on YouTube, that is. So subscribe and um, you'll get your official shout out. And then we take questions now. So now you can ask me any game-related questions. Any game-related questions, I'll be more than happy to answer those for you. And this camera, I knew this camera was zoomed in a little bit too much. All right, there we go. Um, so yeah. Yo, who's this? Zeno B with the... Almost got a Tommy Blister! Let's go. Thank you so much for the support. Zito Beats with that $10 donation and says, Final Fantasy VII looks great. Voice actors in both versions sound good. Just saw the Japanese state of play just to see. Um, hope it's not episodic. Maybe 2021, 2022. E3 will be great. E3 will be great because they said more in June. So we should get more Final Fantasy VII remake stuff in June. I know you guys were saying, oh, they just showed off Midgar, but they might show off more later. So... So yeah, so yeah, it's, it's all good. I think I'm, I'm looking forward to the game. I'm looking forward to the game. Um, I don't want this episodic crap though. Um, let's see. Solomon Solo says Square should let Monosoft come over there and do their job for them because they can finish their games at a reasonable pace. That's that doesn't even what you're saying doesn't even make sense. Solomon Solo, Square, Square, Monosoft is owned by Nintendo. Monosoft doesn't go work for anybody else unless Nintendo says it. Unless Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to be on the Nintendo Switch, why would Mon why would Nintendo allow Monosoft to go over to Square? Unless you're just saying that like figuratively and not act not like it actually being a real thing. That doesn't even make what you're saying doesn't even make sense. Um, Monosoft they don't have. I mean they they're working on Switch stuff. They're working on their own games. They're not working on Final Fantasy anymore. That's that's their own thing. So. Final Fantasy, so Square Enix should just finish their own games and Monosoft should go work on their own games. Monosoft has Xenoblade. Monosoft could maybe get back into uh, Bot, uh, Botan Kaitos. Monosoft has a lot of IPs that they can get into. Like, let Square Enix worry about their IPs and let Monosoft worry about what they got to do. You know, everybody, everybody's adults here. You know what I'm saying? They don't need they don't need Square Enix to come over or they don't need Monosoft to come over to them. Nah, uh, nah. Everybody work on their own stuff, man. <laughs> you know, mind, mind their own things. I don't know why. I don't. I, I sure as hell don't want that. You know, let Square Enix make Final Fantasy. Let Monolith Sop work, make, make Xenoblade and make make uh, make maybe a new IP. Let them build their own legacy. Like, look, Final Fantasy for them, that's the past. They got, we got Xeno now. You know what I'm saying? We've got uh, potential other IPs that they can be developing. Let them develop their own future. Why, why, why should they be worried about what they did in the, like, about freaking, about uh, Square Enix? You know, let them, let them do their own thing. Monolith Sop do their own thing. You know, um... I'm making. I'm just making. Okay, yeah, that's that's a joke. That's what I said. Hopefully, it's a joke. But no, pick a different company because I don't want. I mean, even if it's a joke, it's not a good joke. I don't want Mama Sop going over there. <laughs> uh, Mr. Pete with the two dollar donation through Super Chat says, "Can you play Final Fantasy VII Boss Theme? Tifa is the best girl. Actually, I have to play Final Fantasy VII Battle Theme first, and then I'll play the Boss Theme. So um, let's do that. Um, Jumpman donated for that. Um, sorry, Final Fantasy." Okay. Let's go. Um, is Zodiac Age a remaster? Yes. Um, Ozone Baby says, do you think Final Fantasy VII Remake will be the only thing important in Square Enix's E3? No, I think Bravely Default could potentially be there or other games. I'm playing your song right now. Shout out to Master Dragon. Thank you so much for the host, man. Appreciate that. Okay, yeah. It, it's a figure of speech. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay, sorry. You know how I, you guys know how I take Mono Soft, okay? Epic Steve says that was definitely uh, that was definitely speaking to me. Come on, man, you knew what you were talking about. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. 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 I would love if Mono Soft had their own creative control over their own IPs instead of why Square, why Final Fantasy. Why can't Mono Soft have their own creative control over their own? Why can't they make their own? 
I don't understand why it needs to be Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy is just a name. They use different characters every single time. A lot of the Final Fantasy games have different battle systems and different characters. So, I mean, I don't understand why they need to do the name. All it is is figuratively Final Fantasy. Why can't they just create their own? If, if Mama Soft was st still at Square Enix, they would have created Xenoblade and would have just be called Final Fantasy whatever. You know what I'm saying? It, it would have just been Xenoblade, but with Final Fantasy, but named Final Fantasy. They're creating their own Final Fantasies at Nintendo. I don't understand why they, it's just named. Mama Soft, they make RPGs that could easily be called Final Fantasy if they never left Final Square Enix. Let's just be real here, guys. Let's just be real. So I don't understand why they need to have creative control. They're making their own Final Fantasies. It's called Xenoblade. You know what I'm saying? They're making their own games. I don't I don't understand this need for, like, even if you guys are joking or even something, but I don't understand this need for, oh, well, they should make Final Fantasy. Why? They have Xenoblade. <laughs> they have the, they can make a new IP. They can make, they can forge their own path. Why be tied to Final Fantasy? I don't get it. Um, let's see here. Did you see the second news for the day? Yeah, I already saw that, Jarmo. I know you, like, they bought two points. I mean, that's, that's great, but I mean, I don't really have much to say about it, to be honest. They bought a studio. It makes, like, a hotel game or something like that. So, I mean, it's great, but I mean, I don't really, to be honest, I'm not really, I don't really care too much, just because the, the, the type of games that that studio makes is not, I'm not really interested in. But, oh, that's cool. That's good for Sega. Good for Sega. Uh, I don't want Mama to work on Final Fantasy. Tetsuya Takahashi left at Square and started Mama Soft because Square was obsessive with Final Fantasy. Exactly. Exactly. Um, they're testing your tolerance for jokes and trying to rile you up. That's fine. Go ahead and do it. After Final Fantasy VII Remake, do you think uh, they'll make a new Final Fantasy or remake an old Final Fantasy? Make a new IP? After um, They'll probably make a new... They're probably already working on a new... Maybe they're working on a new Final Fantasy. Um, what score do you give the presentation? Uh, like a, probably like a 6.5, 7 out of 10. 6.5 to 7 out of 10. Um, all right, so let's, uh, let's get some more music going here, guys. Final Fantasy seven. Boss thing. It's not a very good, it's not a very good hypothetical in my opinion, to be honest. Why? I don't, I don't understand the hypothetical. I don't, I don't understand like the hypothetical of it. To be honest, I don't, <clears throat> but that's fine. If you want, if you want to say it, go ahead. I'm just responding to what somebody says. That's all. That's it. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. You say something, I respond to it. As I respond truthfully. Unless you guys want me to lie to you. I can just say, oh, that's a great idea. I can do that if you want me to. Um, and lie. But I'm not a liar, so I'm not going to do it. Um, let's see here. Spirit Spirit says, wasn't Xenogears originally pick, pitched to Final Fantasy VII? I have no idea. Mega Chase says Final Fantasy and Xenoblade series is great. They're both good. I, I like Xenoblade more, but yeah, they're both really good. Did the combat system just look like Final Fantasy 15? Uh, similar, I guess. Um, let's see, Rockstar should work on Final Fantasy. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's exactly it. That, that should work out on Rockstar. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be interesting. I give this direct a 7 out of 10. Yep, uh, Xenogears was deemed too dark to be a, a Final Fantasy game. So there you go. Could have easily been a Final Fantasy game, but too dark. Um, Harge Fries with the $5 donation. Says, Please play Persona 5 Last Surprise by Family Jewels. You know what? I cannot play Family Jewels stuff because they're... The, the people who own, or the people who not own, but, but the people that are partnered with Family Jewels, they copyright claim their music. So I cannot play it, but I can play Persona 5 Last Surprise. I can play the, the regular one, but I can't play anything from Family Jewels because they do copyright claim music. Um, it had it stuck in my head all day. Hopefully it'll be stuck in somebody else's. Uh, thanks for the content. Thank you so much, Harge Fries. But yeah, unfortunately, I cannot play anything from Family Jewels. They copyright claimed my their Octopath thing, and it took them like three weeks to, or like two weeks to get a um, copyright claim, you know? And while it's doing that, like, you know, you're losing visibility. So yeah, I'm not I'm not going to even waste, not waste my time, but I'm not even going to um, entertain, you know, playing anything from them, uh, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, uh, shout out, shout out to Family Jewels, good, good stuff. But I will play Persona 5 Last Surprise. Uh, no word on Persona 5 Scramble, no, no word on that. Hi OJ, I think we can. Um, we're giving the state of play event a six out of five of ten. I still uh, need to see more to play more of my blind playthrough of Final Fantasy VII. Darn it! All right. Frank Rodriguez says, do you think they'll streamline and change a few things in Final Fantasy VII, like the uh, Chocobo stuff and a few of the other side quests? I think so. I think they're definitely gonna change it. Yeah. 
Wave Sleep says, I, um, I will say rather a remake be a standard ATB and not an action RPG. Yeah, it might be a standard ATB. It could be standard ATB. It could. Uh, Justin Williams says, uh, what's up, man? Uh, what do you think will be uh, Nintendo and it's a bit... What do you think Nintendo's an available now announcement at E3 or will there even be... Hold up, hold up. What's up, man? What do you think will be Nintendo's and it's available now announcement at E3 or there will be even, or will there even be one? Um, I have no idea about available now announcement. I mean, if anything, those are like indie games or like demos. So maybe like a demo for like Luigi's Mansion 3 or something like that. So maybe like some type of demo for one of the games is like available now. But I don't know about any actual like big games available now. No, they're not, they're not gonna do that. But. Uh, why does Square Enix take so long to develop their big premiere titles? Because they have a lot of, uh, their games take a lot of uh, time and effort to make because they like to make top of the line graphics. And on top of that, they take a lot of time just because of the, the technology that they're usually working with. Before, Square Enix would always work with internal stuff, right? So they work with like uh, Luminous engines or their own engines, which are difficult to develop for. But now that they've switched over to Unreal Engine 4, they can make, they can probably cut down the time that it takes to make their games. So that's the reason why. Um, all right. So let's see here. Um, so let's play some Persona 5, Last Surprise. Let me know how it sounds once it starts up, guys, okay? Are you doing another live stream after this? Yeah, we have the Ozone Baby, we have PE Podcast at uh, 6 o'clock. So in about a little bit over two and a half hours, or a little bit, about two and a half hours from now, we have the PE Podcast. So yeah. I say Ori is shadow dropped. Ori? I mean, yeah, maybe something like that. Yeah, maybe. Sony needs to improve the state of play. That was uninspired. I can understand why you're saying it's uninspired. It necessarily wasn't bad, but maybe a little uninspired. Yeah, I can, I can see why you're saying that. But it wasn't horrible. It was better than the last one, right? The square mismanaged too? Uh, at times, yeah. Big Mo says, uh, do you like the action direction or would you like it to be turn-based? I'd like it to be ATB if it can. Alright, take it easy, Jumpmon. Thanks for coming out to the stream. Shadow says, do you think Final Fantasy VII Remake is closer to completion than we think due to there being a dub in the trailer? Or was the dub just for the trailer? Uh, the dub might be over with, so I think it's closer to being released than maybe we might think. I think it's going to be 2020, so people were saying 2021. Um, let's see. I will block. I will unblock. Hold on. Let me, let me see, Markel. Let me let me try to see if I can unblock your account right now. Let me see. Did somebody accidentally blocked you. When when were you accidentally blocked? Um, are you sure your mainstream wasn't banned? Like banned from like YouTube? I wish you can actually type and search out for... Yeah, I have so many people who are. <laughs> Got all these weirdos on here. But why is Rufu blocked? Oh, somebody made a sock account of Rufu. I don't see, I'm gonna have to find it later because I don't see you here. My favorite was I'm not black, I'm OJ player essence, player no sense. That's my favorite block. Yeah, dude, I don't see you on here, man. Yeah, dude, there's so many people here. I'm gonna have to look it up later. All right. ATV is that Xenoblade? No, ATV, Active Time Battle. I made it up for a few minutes. I love this song. Yo, shout out to Grubby. What's up, man? Hey, you're almost gonna be a Renengon user. What's good? Uh, I think Final Fantasy VII Part One will be a PS5 launch title. I don't want it to be episodic, but I think it will be. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think it's, I don't know about this whole episodic thing, guys. I really don't. I really don't. I don't know about it. 
versus I could watch this stream just fine on my main account. Everybody, um, every time I tried to reply, it said it, it said immediately deleted. Yeah, dude, I have no idea, man. I'm gonna have to. Um, uh, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to. What's it called? To. I'm just gonna have to look at it again because I, I don't see your name on here, so I don't know what's going on. I mean, they originally said it would be epicotic, but they kind of backtracked on that, though, didn't they? Quest for Lagoria Gamers says, "Prices, how's it going? How, how's it going, man? How are you guys doing?" All right, so here's here's the deal, guys. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stream till about four something, maybe. So if you guys have random questions, feel free to answer. Uh, put in your questions. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Okay, we're gonna stream to about maybe four o'clock, four fifteen. I'm here on the West Coast, so that's the reason why I'm saying the time that's probably behind where you guys are living. So yeah, so that's about maybe another 20, 30 minutes we're gonna stream. Oh, there we go, Big Bailey with the almost cut off from Toby Blister. Let's go. Thank you so much, Big Bailey, with the $10 donation. Show him the support today, man. Show him the support today. Big Bailey says, OJ, would you buy a PlayStation 4 now or wait till next year for a new one? Oh, okay. So here's the thing, Big Daily. I know you're a busy man because I know a little bit about you. I know you're a busy man. You're probably working. You got stuff to do. I think at this point, don't buy a PS4 in your situation. Now, if you've got nothing to do, you know what I'm saying? And all you do is play video games all day, which I know that's not you because you said that you go to work. <laughs> um, then yeah, absolutely. Go buy a PlayStation 4. If you're a college student or something like that, you got time on your hands. Feel free. Run out there. Go buy a PS4. However, if you don't have time on your hands and you can't play a lot of games and you already you have a backlog and you already have Switch or something like that, or you already have an Xbox One and you've got games to play, just wait for the PS5 because the PS5 is probably going to be backwards compatible. The last thing that you're going to want to do is buy a PS4 now and then PS5 comes out next year and it's backwards compatible. And Oh, and by the way, it's $300 or sorry, it's $400. So it's not even that much more than what you pay. You can save... $15 a month from now until next year and have enough money to buy a PS4 if you added it on top, sorry, a PS5 if you added it on top of what a PS4 is. You know what I'm saying? So there's no point in my opinion. There's no point in buying a PS4 now because there's probably going to be a PS5 next year and it's going to be reverse compatible. They actually confirmed that. So why buy a PS4 when you can get a PS5? Um, and if the PS5 is $400, bruh, you know, that's going to be pretty good. That's going to be pretty good. So yeah. So yes. Um, I would wait. I would wait. There's no point. If you if you don't have one at this point, I think it's time to wait. I think it's just time to wait. Because you're probably already playing other things. But thank you, Big Bailey. I appreciate the uh, I I do appreciate the ten dollar donation. I appreciate the support. Solomon Solo says Solomon Solo says, um, if Square shows off anything Bradley Default related, do you think it will be at their own press conference or at Nintendo Direct? I think it might be at both. Max says, would you, um, would you like to know about some Persona 5 codenames and masks? I thought about some potential Smash DLC characters. Uh, would I like to know? Um, to be, I'll be completely honest with you, Nack. Um, I, I really don't care one way or another, but you're free to mention them if you want and tag me and, and I'll read them off. But would I actually care to know? Um, no, not really. Um, I'm just telling, I'm just being honest with you though. Um, let's see here. Uh, Grubby K9 says, I'm down for episodic. I'm not. Spirit says, could YouTube be acting up again? It could be. But I got to check through all these uh, bands, though. Thanks for the advice. Nah, no problem, man. Uh, what did I think of it? I thought it was okay. I thought it was solid 6.5 to 7 out of 10. Shadow King says, I think Episodic Thing came from Cyber Connect 2. Now that it's in-house, I think they went back to a regular game. Remember, Cyber Connect 2 made two series of Episodic Games in, in dot .hack. Yeah, it could be. Uh, Central would be 6 p.m. Uh, are you talking about tonight? No, it's 6 p.m. PT. So Central would be like... Eight, right, Frank? Or it wouldn't be six. That like you talking about the PE podcast? Um, that's exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, waiting for PS5. When's PS5 coming again? PS5 is probably coming fall 2020. Um, probably fall 2020. Ozone Baby says, "Do you think Sony censorship policies affects Final Fantasy VII remake development, particularly Tifa's design, since it was uh, rarely shown in the trailer?" Well, guys, we, there's still more to show off. There's still more to show off. So I don't know. Atifa's design isn't doesn't fall under like a negativity with she's she's not exposing any, there's no nudity with her design so I don't think she's gonna get censored in any way but there's there's no nudity in her design she just has you know she's just shaped she's just curvy well at least up here curvy and she just she's just wearing some short shorts and a and a tank top I mean that's really all at the end of the day that's all it is so I don't really think it's I don't think it's gonna be a problem goose game or away bruh both. <laughs> 
Um, J2 Blue says, uh, these pathetic losers on Twitter really um, irk me sometimes. I've seen awful people say terrible things about voice actors who do dubs for anime and video games. Yeah, people say some stupid stuff. You just got to be like, whatever, man. Uh, I'm, I'm not down for episodic, my bad. LOL, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see here. I don't think Tifa is going to be an issue. Um, Brent Rodriguez says, nah, I was talking about when you're going to, um, oh, end the current stream. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Six, yeah, 6 p.m. Central. So, yeah, we're going to go for about maybe 15 more minutes or not, unless we get some, like, you know, um, good questions or not. Maybe I can extend it a bit. So, uh, is this episodic thing st still, though? Um, I was deconfirmed, but still, it wasn't deconfirmed. I don't think it is. I think once CyberConnect2 was doing it, it was, but I think after CyberConnect2, like somebody said in the chat, I don't think it's going to be some type of episodic thingy you know i don't, I don't think it's going to be that anymore i'll be honest i don't, I don't think it is i think it's just going to be straight up you know final fantasy um but that's just me that's just me i don't, I don't know we're gonna have to wait and see guys i don't i don't know i don't there's no definitive answer that i can give you guys that's the truth that's like oh yeah that's right you know you know so so there you go my reaction to all of this will be up um in a bit okay guys so my reaction to uh, my reaction to the what's it called? Mm. To all this will be up. Um, it'll be up in a bit. It'll be up in the meantime before uh, we do the PE podcast. Um, Tifa too big for some folks. <laughs> Uber Square says. Um, they didn't say first on PS4 this time, so you think it's no longer time exclusive? Mainly the Xbox guy, uh, mainly an Xbox guy, but I don't mind pay, uh, playing on my PS4 either. Um, they didn't say first on PlayStation 4, so there might be a good chance that um, it is uh, it does come out on Xbox at the same time. But then again, they might have just not said it there. They might have just wanted to wait, you know, and say it something on some other time. So yeah, it could be that too, you know. Um. Sparrow says, I don't think Tifa will be an issue, but they might censor the Shiva summons. They, they could censor, yeah, like a, like a, a sh yeah, yeah, the Shiva summons sh or Shiva summons. Yeah, absolutely. That might be an issue. Um, yeah, that'd be 8 p.m. CT. Gotcha. One of the big ones is, uh, there have been claims by Xbox fans that Platinum Games used the money that Microsoft gave them for Scalebound or other games they were working on at the same time. Any truth? Um, no, that's not, that's not the way the game development usually works. Um, here's what usually happens. Um, so um, did they use the money for <laughs> for like Astral Chain or something like that? No, uh, basically here's what happened. Um, you you know, you're, you're given money. Usually these companies are given money to develop games. Now, while you're developing the game, you're given basically money to turn the lights on and to do whatever, right? You get the money and that pays for the development of the game. Um, when Microsoft ended the development of the game, that was done. The no more money was being paid. So not, while I don't have exact details of the contract or anything, there's no way to determine one way or another how much money was paid up front. If they were paying them on a weekly basis, like, hey, development's going to cost this much a week or development's going to cost that much a week or development monthly development. We have no way in terms of how they were paid. Um, some developers in terms of publishing deals are paid up front. Some of them are paid every month how that's progressing some of them are paid every three months or half year or whatever the case is you know so they can review the game and see if everything's going good so since we don't know how the development was paid for the game like whether it was a weekly thing it was a monthly thing it was whatever there's no way to sit here and say that they used the money for something else because they were developing the game because there was a demo right there was an actual uh demo that they were that they were playing there was footage of the game there was there was content on there. Now, and if there's nothing, if there's no footage of the game and there wasn't anything, then okay, that, that's maybe that's fair. That's fair, right? Like, for example, like Aliens Colonial Marines, the Wii U version. Dude, like Sega gave them money to develop a Wii U version and it never, I think, I think then Gearbox gave that money to somebody else to develop a Wii U version. So that might have been misuse of funds. But I mean, that's just basically, um, you know, how it works. So no, I, I wouldn't say that they use the money for something else, you know, or a different game, no. Um, I think they wanted, they, I mean, that's Hideki Kamiya, you know, too. I think he wanted to complete scale bound. So, um, Derek Smith donated $1 with no message. So thank you, Derek Smith. I appreciate the dollar donation, my boy. Thank you. Um, let's see here. Uh, what's the release date for PS5? There's no solid release date, Frank. Um, it's just, I, it's just, they just said that it's coming out not in a year from when they have that, that, uh, so it's not coming out anytime within the next year. So if it's not coming out anytime within the next year at this point, that means it's coming out sometime in the fall, probably. Probably fall 2020. Or like, probably like November, you know. 
Um, Eric, Eric H with the subscription. Thank you so much, Eric H. Welcome to the Elite Ninja Village of Player Essence. Everyone in the chat, please welcome brand new Ganon, Eric H, to the village. Um, what does, has anybody checked Twitter or anything like that? What are people saying in this news about this whole Nintendo Direct thing? Or sorry, not Nintendo. <laughs> state of play. What are, what are, what are people, what are people saying? You know? Um... What are people saying? Like, are they saying that it was good? Are they saying that it was bad? What are people saying? Um, I think the plat. I, I think the thing with Platinum wasn't that they were using money for other projects, but that they would they would take devs off the project and move them to others. It's all just speculation, but that doesn't that doesn't matter. Like you pay them to. You want a Platinum Games developed thing. If they're moving devs, maybe because they don't want to work on that game or they're going to work on something different, and you you fill the spot with somebody else. I mean, like I don't think that's in the contract that this person, this person, this person, this person, this person, this person has to work on the game they just have to give them the money then they work on the game so alonzo vine says i wonder how they will handle the cross dress section in the remake i don't know the same way <laughs> i have no idea we'll have to wait and see dude spare spare says Ex executive meddling from microsoft also hurt scalebound allegedly Michael O'Brien says, when I read the comments by Platinum on Scalebound this week, um, I think they, they are damage controlling to stop Microsoft getting a backlash when the game is announced for Switch. Uh, I don't know about that. We'll have to wait and see, right? Mono Penguin says, I heard um, this on Xbox Fan Podcast. Uh, thus said, it's a fact that Platinum used money for near <laughs> Automata, etc. They called Platinum. Um, I think you meant like, oh, the, the B word? <laughs> Yeah, I think they're just. A little, I think some Xbox fans are a little salty over the whole thing. Um, I've heard Xbox fans get very salty at uh, at um, <laughs> you know at uh, at Platinum Games, uh, but they used it for near. Why would they? Use, I mean, they used it for near to for that to come out on the Xbox, like the Xbox one. I don't look. Look, listen, guys. Um, if they you mis misappropriated the funds or didn't use the funds in a certain way, I doubt Microsoft would have worked with them to get near on the Xbox because I think Microsoft paid for that X for, for near to be ported over to the Xbox digital only. So, um, so nah, I don't, I don't think that's the case. <laughs> State of play was pretty good. Anyone hate on it is just pure haters. Okay. Well, here's the thing though. Here's the reason why I'd say that anybody hating on it is just pure haters. The thing about it, dude, is that like, look, final fantasy seven remake, that was the most hype thing. Right. But like final fantasy seven remake was announced in 2015. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, and they, they didn't even show, like, they they still didn't show, like, an actual demo of, like, normal gameplay. They just showed gameplay snippets. So, it's not even like we got, like, we didn't, I mean, mo what they showed for Monster Hunter was more developed and better. And just for pure, not not in terms of what you like more, but just, like, what they showed. It seemed like Monster Hunter was more in-depth than what they showed with Final Fantasy, you know, Final Fantasy 15. And it's been, it's been four years. I think that's the only issue where some people might say, like, okay, this wasn't that great. It's like, okay, well, we want the game now. Like, how many years does it take? So I can understand from that point of view, but I mean, I thought it was okay. I thought it was, like, yeah, I think that if you think it's like just a like god awful for 10 minutes, that's actually not too bad, you know? So, um, let's see here. Don't crush my dreams, OJ. What dreams are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Scalebound. Yeah, well, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, yeah, but it's definitely an improvement from last time, right? It's definitely an improvement, so. But yeah, Final Fantasy VII, um, definitely not bad. And it's trending. They got people talking about Final Fantasy VII, so that's good. But yeah, I'll be, I'll be picking it up for the PS4 Pro. 9.4K likes and 3.9K dislikes on State of Play. Okay, so much better than last time, right? The last State of Play was like 5 billion dislikes. So yeah, people generally thought it was it was better. But still, quite a number of people disliked it, though. But yeah, people thought people thought it was better, so far at least. 
Um, <clears throat> some dude says I don't um I don't think State of Play was bad, but it just wasn't uh, great either. Or a lack of PSVR was a plus though. Yeah, people complained so much about PSVR they took it out because it's like. The thing about PSVR, guys, at the end of the day, it's just going to be, it's just, it's just not something that most people are going to get. Like the PS5 is going to outsell all of PSVR in like, <laughs> you know, in like, like a month or two or whatever, you know? So it's just like PSVR, there's just too many people that have like eye deficiencies and like some people only have one eye or some people just have eye problems. It's just like, it's just not, it's just, it's just, P VR is just not enough. It's just, it's just not it, you know, but VR is cool for those who like it, but it's just, it's never going to be like a super, super mainstream thing to where you need to sit there and talk about VR for like 30 minutes in a presentation or something. Um, shout out to Katana Riku with the doll donation with that. Hold up guys. With that, with that shimmy. <laughs> shout out to Katana Riku says, can you play dreams on the shore of another world from Chrono Cross? I really wish that you asked for a different Scars of Time from Chrono Cross instead, but I will play your song. <laughs> I think Scars of Time is such an amazing song from Chrono Cross. The Shore. This is a good song too though. This is this is definitely a good song. Let me know how it sounds, guys. If they centered it on VR, it would have been better. Let's go. <laughs> um Spare Space says what they did show this time was good, but it still didn't have a, a soul of Nintendo Direct. Yeah, it's not it's not a Nintendo Direct, because they don't have the games to be a, for it to be a Nintendo Direct. They don't have the games. And it's lacking it's lacking the fun atmosphere and like the like the the history the fun atmosphere it's lacking the facial presentation where somebody's there you know presenting you the games it lacks the touch it feels like a soulless corporation looked at a nintendo direct not saying that sony is but it feels like they looked at the nintendo direct they said we want that but we don't have anybody we're, anybody that can do it so let's manufacture let's manufacture a nintendo direct that's what it's it, feel, it feels like a focus group developed nintendo direct you know, let's cut all the fat out. Let's cut all the like the, the nice little bouncy sounds and things that Nintendo Direct does and the presentation. And let's just make it. Let's 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 manufacture. Let's manufacture a better or faster moving Nintendo Direct. That's what that's what State of Play feels like. Not that that's bad. That's fine. That's that's fine. But it, it's never gonna have the appeal that Nintendo Direct has, just because Sony, unfortunately. Well, not even unfortunately. Fortunately, um, the thing is, Sony's a different company, right? Fortunately for them, they have third party. They have all that. So without there being such an intense focus on first party games, you're never going to get that same type of feel and the type of, like, connection with the fans, unfortunately. But we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, it feels like an artificial Nintendo Direct. Like, somebody created something to, to, to go against this. It almost feels like... What are the plots of some of these movies like Blade Runner? Like, can, can robots feel emotion? Like, it's like the Geth. You know what I'm saying? It feels like the Geth. It's like, can we feel pain? When do when do robots die? And then all of a sudden, like, the freaking... The Koreans were like... I'm Mass Effect nerd here, okay? The Koreans were like, what the hell? Why is a freaking Geth talking about, like, emotion? It feels to me like it was manufactured, you know? Not, not necessarily born out of something that they want to do, but manufactured to do something. That, that's how it feels. Not that, like I said, that's not, not that it's a bad thing. Geth are cool, right? Uh, but, uh, <laughs> but you know, you guys know what it is. Uh, it feels life. Yeah, it feels lifeless. It does. It feels, it feels very lifeless. Very, very lifeless. Um, like I said, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. And I'm going to play Scars of Time because I want to. <laughs> oh, my gosh. One more. We're expanding. We're expanding your, your song, your song choice, Katana Riku. Um, oh, is it really that bad? No, it just feels lifeless. Like I said, it just feels lifeless. I mean, it does, does it not? Does it not feel lifeless a bit? It does. Um, Jax Knight, subscribe. Thank you so much, Jax Knight. Welcome to the Legion of Village of Player. That's everybody here in the chat. Please welcome Jax Knight to the village. Sony doesn't have time for Nintendo Kid Fun. This is straight for hardcore gamer. <laughs> Pretty much. Um... Let's see. Plus, there's motion sickness. I do suffer from. Oh, you're talking about like VR? Yeah. 
it's like you said they are uh, they are to have more games to announce especially when ps5 is out state of play will be better yeah it will be better david balfour says lifeless confirmed yeah it's just a bit life because there's nobody actually that you see you know when, when you see a direct nintendo direct presentation you see takahashi you see reggie you know well reggie's not there but like in the directs the ep directs you see him talking about it you see him interacting so it, it, it feels like there's emotion to it this just feels like a like a like a like a alexa talking to you you know what i'm saying it feels like an alexa like talking to you like alexa play copy nintendo direct alexa play state of play you know that's what it feels like to me it feels like an alexa machine State of play was actually good today, y'all tripping. No, we're saying that it, just because it was lifeless doesn't mean that it wasn't good. This is, we're trying to describe the state of play, you see. We're not saying, that, not, not everybody's saying that it was bad or horrible. We're saying that it feels lifeless. And it does. It feels robotic and lifeless. It feels, come on. Let's be real here. There's no person presenting. It's a very, like, synthetic type of woman voice that's going like it doesn't feel like somebody is presenting this information to you it feels manufactured this is truth this is truth come on man nobody's saying i mean not nobody but we're not saying that it's bad i'm not saying that it's horrible and it's trashed here we're just saying that the state of play in general feels manufactured and lifeless not that there's bad not that it was bad it just feels lifeless that's all we're trying to say uh, what was the announcement? Final Fantasy, more or more uh, more gameplay footage of Final Fantasy VII Remake. That was basically... Oh, and uh, Monster Hunter Iceborne is coming out uh, this September. Me and my Alexa start talking, OJ. I did. I know, that's why I unplugged my Alexa inside my room. Because I actually have, like, two Alexas. I unplugged the one inside my room because it kept on turning on. Um, sorry about that, Liz Lizzie. Um... Uber Squish says, what, what would a Zelda-made baby platinum be like? A Zelda-made baby platinum be like? What, what does that mean? Sony's a tech company. Nintendo is not. True. Um, uh, Iceborne. Yeah, I think it's going to be Iceborne for P like every system, right? I don't think it's going to be exclusive like the PlayStation, like the Iceborne expansion. How come OJ gets a music music choice without donating, bro? I'm gonna donate to myself. Get the music choice. Let's go. Um, any other questions, guys? Uh, like I said, I said I'd go till four. I gotta get that uploaded and then start the podcast by six. So I think we still have some time. About maybe fifteen, maybe about fifteen minutes or a little bit less than that. A Zelda made by Platinum. Um, I don't think I want a Zelda game made by Platinum. Unless it's like an action RPG, like a spin-off, not like this not not like the main series of Zelda games. Is Astral Chain worth playing? Astral Chain isn't out yet, but yes, it's probably worth playing. Watch my videos, Nack. Watch my videos on Astral Chain. Type in Astral Chain into my channel, then ask then then you'll see if it's worth playing. Don't don't just come to the live streams and ask a bunch of questions and talk about persona names and all that stuff. Go to the videos, watch the videos on like if you if you if you're interested in games like Marvel also the lion. So if you're interested in Astral Chain and all that stuff like that, watch the videos. They'll they'll tell you a lot of information. So make sure you watch them. But yes, um, it I think it'll be worth playing because it's Platinum Games. Uh, based on what I've seen so far, I think it's going to be worth playing. It isn't it isn't exclusive Sony just marketing marketing rights is all. Yeah, maybe I don't know about marketing rights, but like I think maybe they just decided to just say yeah, it's on this, you know. So there you go. Dude, oh my gosh. Yo, we are actually one away. We are one brand new Elite Ninja away. Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Can we get it this stream, though? Shout outs. I didn't even notice that. 164. Let's go. Um, any other questions, guys? Or are we all quite are you guys are you guys all questioned out and you guys had enough drama and questions for the day? Is Astral Chain actually co-op? It is co-op. I thought for a second the character is just a companion, like near. It. Well, it is, and you'll have that companion. But I don't, I don't think in co-op you're going to be using the companion. I think you're actually going to have like the second character there, and then you guys are both going to have companions, legions on the stage fighting. But there is co-op elements, or there just might be like uh, co-op, uh, offline co-op. You know, maybe mission mode or something like that. So we don't know yet. 
Um, amazing key, amazing key with a dollar donation. Thank you so much through Super Chat. Sheik and Zelda look upon you, my boy. Thank you. No, Insider did confirm Sony has marketing rights for Muscle Underworld. Okay, marketing rights, marketing rights. All right, so there you go, marketing rights. Wanda Penguin says, what genre do you think Nintendo, or genres do you think Nintendo is lacking in um, in their first party content? They seem to have uh, wanted to fill action genre with Astral Chain, but what else? Well, they don't have, really have any first person shooters, but yeah, they first person shooters are there. Um, they, they could do that. Or maybe like story driven games. I don't know. No, visual novels. Like, <laughs> I mean, they don't have any sports games either. So maybe stuff like that. More like the Western style games. Uh, they don't really have many racing games either outside of like Mario Kart. Uh, yo, shout outs. Let's go. Juan Castillo hitting us with that elite ninja membership. Thank you so much. Atachi is about to grace our presence here. Thank you so much for the freaking. There you go. Thank you so much for the string on. My boy, uh, Juan, let me tell you what you get, my man. You get emotes. You got exclusive access to the emotes. Go ahead and hit that smiley face down there in the chat. You got some brand new emotes that you can use. Also, you get access to our, dis our exclusive Discord to where you can play Super Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, and more games against the Elite Ninja and myself. We're pretty much ramping up our gameplay days. And Saturday, I want to try to run the first ever, like, Elite Ninja Day on Player Essence, where all the Elite Ninja, all, where we're going to be playing games for multiple hours on Saturday. I want to try to do it and see how it works out Saturday to get more people to join up and also to make sure people get enough game time. So we're going to cycle through multiple games, like play like Mario Kart, Smash Brothers, maybe ARMS, and we're just going to do that leading up to the spawn cast. So I think that's going to be a way to get more value for you guys and also get more people to also join in as well because we're trying to hit this 175 member goal. And then by the end of the year, I want to be like at 500 or more so i think that that would really help out so you, you guys are going to get a lot more gameplay days and like i said if we if we don't get as many during the week saturdays i'm gonna i'm gonna clear my schedule and make that for you guys there on saturdays so um at least at least two to three times a month at least two to three times a month we're gonna have that saturdays are just pretty much uh gameplay days for um not a 24-hour game stream no not a 24-hour game stream like more like like a five to six hour game stream where we'll play games um, and cycle through different games. Not a 24-hour stream, though, because 24-hour streams are stupid, and people shouldn't be doing them. Um, but I understand why people do them. Um, but yeah, like 24-hour streams aren't some, aren't something that you should be doing. 12 hours tops. 12 hours tops. Um, would you prefer Splatoon 3 or more Splatoon 2 DLC? Splatoon 3. Uh, oh my gosh, I just saw State of Play. Final Fantasy said I'm going to cry. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, JC Swarm says, good energy stream, uh, stream, dude. Um, have a good one. All right, man. Take it easy. My name is OJ, though. Thank you, JC Swarm. Appreciate it. <laughs> Players is good. As <laughs> stream, dude. Have a good one. All right. Take it easy, bro. Um, planned on joining anyway. Might as well help meet that goal. Yo, shout outs. Yes, we are there. 165. Now, like I said, once we get to 175, we are going to do a, um, we are going to do a exclusive exclusive fire emblem three houses hardcore playthrough so that's going to be a lot of fun that's going to be a ton of fun all right um any other questions guys or shall i think shall we call it there i kind of want to make it to three hours so I have like a nice solid three hour stream but state of play was trash because we didn't get the next smash bros ultimate dlc character else oh because it was trash because we didn't get freaking uh what was it we didn't get PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale 2 like BC was trying to say, dude. Randy Pitchford is out of control. Okay, what did Randy Pitchford do today, dude? J2 Blue, Sexy Jutsu, my man. What did Randy Pitchford do today? What did he do today, man? What did he do today? Was there anything else that he did today? Come on, man. Really? <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's funny, though. That's really funny. Um, we didn't get Animal Crossing. So that, that's the reason why State of Play was trash, because we didn't get Animal Crossing. I, you know what? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Um, Battlefront X says, um, I enjoy when you stream Mario Kart with the Elite Ninja. It's always fun. When's the next? Yeah, the next one for Mario Kart. Today's Thursday. 
So I'm thinking that the next one might be this Saturday when we can get that, where we can kind of get all the Mario Kart and everything in. Um, I want to see, um, tonight I have the PE podcast, but I'm probably going to have to work. So I wanted to stream ARMS tonight, but um, unfortunately, because of state of play and everything, and I forgot about that when I was talking about it, <laughs> um, unfortunately, I don't know if I'm going to be able to stream ARMS. Um, and then tomorrow is uh, Saints Row. So we're going to be playing Saints Row 3, because I know a lot of you guys are going to want to see the gameplay to see if you want to buy it or not. That's a GameStop exclusive, and I think game in the UK. Um, so we're, tomorrow's going to be Saints Row that we're going to be playing for a good amount of time. So, um, and guys, a lot of the footage that's already came out, be careful. A lot of that's pirate, like a lot of that, that's pirated gameplay footage. So I'm going to actually have the full real game, uh, not the ISO. Um, so yeah, so we're going to be playing that tomorrow. So, and there's co-op in that game, you know, so we'll see, we'll see what, uh, if we do some of that too. I don't know. I don't really know how the game is. I've never played it. Um, I think I've played a little bit of it, but like a demo or something. I don't remember. I don't remember the game, basically. Um, so basically, I haven't played it. Um, but either way, um, we're going to be doing that tomorrow. So I'd probably say the next time that we play Mario Kart will probably be Saturday. And uh, we'll do Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, and maybe ARMS. So we'll do two hours and we might rotate on each one. Or like an hour and a half and rotate on each one leading up to the to the spawn cast. So, so yeah. And then we'll also have PE Live on Saturday, too. So we'll also have PE Live in the morning. I'm going to wake up early. I'm going to get uh, probably a video done. Um, I'm going to do PE Live. And then we'll probably take a little bit of break and then we'll do, and then we'll do, uh, we'll do like the, I don't know what I'm going to call it. I think I'm going to call it like elite Saturdays or something like elite. I don't know. I'll think of a name. I'll think of something. Um, let's see here. Uh, when did we get animal crossing? It's called away. <laughs> Bruh. That's the root. That's like, that's like the elite. That's like the, uh, the hardcore animal crossing. That's for like the hardcore fans of animal crossing. You want the real animal crossing? This is, this is it. Chi. This is it. And this is it. This is it. Um, LOL. Uh, it has something to do with original Claptrap voice actor. Oh, it's crazy, man. Yeah, how he uh, potentially physically assaulted the Claptrap voice actor. Yeah, I heard about that. Oh, my gosh, dude. This man, Randy Pitchford, dude. I, I swear, man. This guy is nuts. Yeah, he's nuts those at times. But, I, but we, you know you know you buy in Borderlands 3, though. <laughs> you know you buy in Borderlands 3, though. Um, you know you buy in it. Um, uh, Juan, I will have a Discord link posted. Um, on the community page, you can check it out right now, but you have to scroll down probably a little bit, but I'll probably post a fresh link if you're still watching. So make sure you, uh, fall, uh, sign up on discord and that'll get you into like to the, uh, to the streams to play games against me and stuff like that. So wait a minute. It's still, it still says 164. So are we at 164 or we're at 165? Which one, which one? It says, it says elite ninja right over here and it says 164. So are we at 164 or 165. What's going on here? I don't want to be inaccurate. Which one? No, it says 165. It just takes a while to update because it just does. It says 165? Does it? Well, oh, I know over here, over here it says 165, but I'm talking about over here. It says, for me, it says 164, but maybe you guys are seeing something different. It was, it says 164 on my screen. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, Jarmo says, Mandy Lee is streaming Dragon's Dogma. There's only eight viewers. Go watch her. Um, well, you, you want us to raid her? Is that what you want? Well, I'm still streaming. So let me finish my stream and then we can raid Mandy. Okay. Um, so let's, let's finish up with these questions here, guys. I want to make this a solid, I want to make this a solid three hours. So I'll stream for another seven minutes. So you guys got seven minutes of questions. That's not too much longer to stream for, right guys? I think that that's good. And then we can, we can shift over to Mandy, um, shift over to Mandy once we're done here. So let me just finish this stream. Then we'll get, we'll get Mandy. Next to the Elite Ninja, it says 164. Yeah, next to the Elite Ninja, it says 164. Yeah, because I, I manually type this in. This is stuff that I manually type in. However, this stuff over here is automatically uh, automatically generated by uh, the, the software that I use, Streamlabs. And I pay I pay for all, all of this. The stuff that you guys see right here, this block right here, I pay, I pay monthly for all of this. And the stuff that you guys see above, that bar above here and that little Twitter thing that rotates... And the thing right underneath there, I pay for all of these graphics and like the background that you guys see, the like the space thing in the background, I pay for that. That's that's all. That's an app that I use. 
So it's secondary to what's running on stream. It's plugged into the base of Streamlabs. So it probably takes a while to update. But when I go over to my my members on Streamlabs, like on the on the internet, it says 165. So it's, it's just taking a little bit to, to update. That's all. Uh, just pointed it out to people. Uh, she needs more views. Yeah, I understand. But I mean, like, it's it's a little Jarmo. I'm I'm I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure you didn't mean it in a bad way. But uh, if somebody's streaming and then you tell people go watch her stream while we're that's kind of rude to the streamer who's still streaming. You know what I'm saying? But if you're saying, hey, you, you want to? I, I think a better way to frame it next time is like, hey. Uh, we should raid Mandy, you know, after you're done with the stream, you know, because she's streaming and there's like, it, she can use some more viewers. I think that's a better way to frame it than saying, telling people to go watch Mandy. She only has eight viewers, you know, it just, it just like the way that you frame it. But I know you didn't mean anything bad from it though. I know you didn't mean anything bad from it, you know? Um, <laughs> so Gunslinger says, how many copies did the original um, Xenoblade sell? The original Xenoblade? Nintendo hasn't officially announced how many copies it sold, but from what I understand, uh, it sold over a million. Um, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, dude. Okay, listen to the person who's pro Jared. I think I don't think his name is separated, all right. But just to let you know, impersonation is against YouTube TOS, so you probably want to stop, you know, making an account and doing stuff like that. That is impersonation of somebody else, and that is, that is against YouTube TOS, so you probably don't want to do that, man. Like, I understand you're trying to, you know, have a little bit of fun, it's funny, but I mean, come on, man, come on, you know. Uh, Midas Magnuson says, uh, what would you like to see from a new gen system? A new gen system? I don't even know at this point, man. I would just, I just want to see great games. That's it. Uh, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy and Poke, uh, Final Fantasy and Pokemon will never be good against the state of play was that was a L. Sorry. Was it? Oh, that's unfortunate that you think that. Um, that's unfortunate. Final Fantasy VII Remake was, was amazing. Well, it's been amazing for the past five years or four years or whatever, you know? So it's been amazing for a long time. I think it's time to actually get us a release date and, you know, when are we going to be able to play the game? That's what I want to know. But yeah, you're right. It was amazing, though. It was an amazing. Um, it, 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 it was. Uh, Final Fantasy VII was, was amazing to see the game running. It looks good. It looks really good. Um, let's see here. I love Final Fantasy XV. Loved Kingdom Hearts Three, and Final Fantasy VII looks like, uh, looks like my, my, I think you meant type of game. So, yeah. According to Twitter, they have a launch date planned. Okay, they have a launch date planned, but they don't have a launch date. They don't actually have a launch date. Any other questions, guys? EA uh, stated that... Uh, EA stated they were shifting focus. You think they finally finally Nintendo? Hell nah. That just means that they're not gonna be sitting there and putting as many microtransactions in games like they used to. That doesn't mean shifting a focus to Nintendo. They're EA's never gonna support Nintendo like they used to support Nintendo. I don't think it's gonna happen unless something drastic happens in the industry. Nah. Hell no. <laughs> That's not happening. That's not happening at all. Alright, guys. Um we're pretty much at the end of the stream here. Um, I do want to do something before you guys go. Uh, we got a lot of new subscribers today. I think we got like 15 to 20 subscribers during the stream, although it wasn't updating normally throughout the, like with the like little Hokage stuff that happens. So that's okay. Uh, thank you to all the new subscribers that subscribed. Uh, we do have a bunch of videos on the channel. Um, a bunch of videos on the channel. Um, make sure you guys check them out. So one video that I want you guys to watch um, is a video on Bad Night Namco Switch support. And Code Vein. So if you haven't seen that, Code Vein is back. And it's actually looking a lot better than when we, when we last saw it. So check out that video if you haven't done so. And there is a pretty cool game that's probably being ported over to the Nintendo Switch from Bad Night Namco. So you're going to want to watch that. Next up is Nintendo's E3 Plants. So Nintendo has some E3 plans that are going to be pretty beefy, which we talked about. So if you missed that during this stream, 
I have a breakdown, all of it, all of the breakdown on Nintendo's E3 plans right there. So make sure you guys check out the videos. We have Fire Emblem Three Houses. If you want to get into Fire Emblem, the world of Fire Emblem, if you want to know more about Fire Emblem, we have two videos that talk about the characters, the gameplay, and what you can expect coming up with Fire Emblem Three Houses. So make sure you guys check out those videos too. Also, another video. Guys, I need your help. We need to get this video to 10,000 views. In the past week, believe it or not, which is really good here, guys. I really like what we're doing. It's, it's slow but sure. We're getting multiple videos getting back to that 10,000 marker that I used to get to all the time. In the past week, we've had um, the Bayonetta video, the Fire Emblem video, and now this video that I'm about to link to you all about to hit 10,000 views, which is incredible. I haven't done that in years. Since like 2017 was the last time that we had three videos in one week hit 10K, which is amazing. Thank you guys for the support. So um, please make sure you guys check out my latest video, or actually it was two days ago, on Monolith Soft and why there's a big, something big is going on there, okay? Monolith Soft and the big progress. Um, so make sure you guys check it out. We're about 300 views away from, um, from 10K on that one. So let's make it happen, guys. Three videos, 10,000 views, and hopefully we can keep that like a stable thing that 10,000 views that it always happens and then hopefully we work our way to 20,000 and 30,000. But yeah, we're working our way back up. So thank you guys so much. I want to thank you guys uh, for the support. But yeah, 2018 hit my channel like a dump truck. I don't know what happened. Something happened in the algorithm and 2018 just zapped all my views. at the very. At the, it was like clockwork. As soon as it hit freaking January 1st, 2019, bam. Like I don't, I didn't even do anything. Um, it just stopped. So I don't know what was going on, but we're back. We're getting back to it. So, um, I think, I think we're kind of going back to those focused videos. I think that's maybe, maybe what it was too. So, um, thank you guys so much for the support recently. We're having good averages on our videos. Um, before we were getting like 1000 views sometimes, which is not very good on like dedicated videos. So now we're getting back up to the like 4,000, 5,000 views and up to even 10,000. So thank you guys so much. And, um, hopefully you guys continue liking the content. I think you guys like to focus a lot more now at this point. Um, so yeah. And you guys are getting more news because of the way that I edit. So, good stuff. Um, all right, guys. Uh, so, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And um, we will see you guys very soon for the PE Podcast. In about uh, an hour and a half, we'll have the PE Podcast. Um, Mandy Lee Plays is streaming, okay? she. Um, I, I have a slight announcement to make, too, um, on the podcast. Uh, Mandy um, is no longer going to be on the PE Podcast. Um, and this was a decision that uh, she made. Um, she got monetized and, uh, she's kind of ready to just kind of do her own thing, you know? Um, but we'll probably have her on as a guest at times, um, when she can, but she's, uh, she's doing some things in her own life. She's, um, she's working more. Um, and it's no, no bad blood or anything like that. Okay, guys, no bad blood or any, no, nothing like there was nothing that was like wrong, but she just kind of wanted, um, to kind of do her own thing. And she's starting up her own podcast. Like, I think it's called the Mandy show. So um, that's the reason why. So she's no longer going to be a regular on the podcast, but she will be a guest at times. So she will be a guest, but she kind of wants, she kind of just wants to do her own things, which is, which is a, a completely, completely understandable, you know? Um, so yeah. Um, all right. So here's the thing, guys. Um, let's all raid Mandy. She'll be on sometimes as a guest. She'll be on sometimes as a guest. So she's not going to be completely gone, but I think she'll she'll come on sometimes as a guest. So let's all go raid Mandy. You guys go all go head, head over there. She only has I think six people watching. Um, so you guys all go head over there. At least thirty to forty of you guys head over there and support my girl Mandy. I'll be over there too. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. You guys all go raid Mandy. Let's go. All right, raid Mandy. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for everything today. You guys are freaking amazing. We did well, so thank you guys so much. And we'll be back for the PE podcast tonight. All right, guys, peace. Go raid Mandy. We're raiding. We're raiding.